welcome, 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 one and all, to the final session of Goblins of Io and the final session of Io Phase 2. It's a pleasure to see each and every one of you. I'll be informing my party that we will be unmuting and beginning promptly. And yeah, so let's go ahead and, and, and uh, bid everyone farewell. Here's the Hello. List of Hello, of everybody. Red. How's everyone doing today? <clears throat> oh, hey. Hey. So fucking Hello. professional. You're like a like an icebreaker. Dude, Didn't I'm like a professional break. icebreaker. <laughs> I was talking about Brett. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm here, too. <laughs> How you guys doing uh, today? Doing doing good? Yeah. 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 I'm, doing, I'm doing really good, Brett. Awesome. Yeah. I'm doing really good. Yep. I'm uh, I'm excited uh, to wrap things up and to give you guys the the finale that only some some lovely wacky and adorable goblins that they deserve. So I want to make sure that we're uh, we're doing it right and we're we're playing you guys off properly. So, Bree Krender, I hope you two have prepared your excuses uh, yes, for our characters. Uh, I expect some breakaways first. and scenes here. I'm eating deep dish pizza today. That's oh, the excuse. I had that yesterday, they, dude. Fuck that's, yeah. 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 I've been busy eating deep dish pizza. That's, that's, that's deep pizza, pizza is savory cake, and I won't fucking hear any excuses. It really is. That is. Yeah, that well, you it, know what? It's not it. like it's pudding good, isn't dude, pudding. Yeah, that's that's Skagzag's excuse. <laughs> good, he, he was like, hey, I'm eating deep dish pizza. Actually, I got a bunch of deep dish <laughs> delivered to my door. Flash yeah. frozen, some good shit. Ooh. Oh, so yeah. I'm going to be eating for the next week. Uh, against I've my ordered will. Chicago Town as well online. Uh, it's like the mini pizzas, you know, that you microwave. Mm -hmm. Well, do you get the Lou Malnati's or do you get the. I got generic? the Lou Malnati. Oh, yeah. I, Dude, I, I, got, I got, the, got. Not the much shit you put in a microwave. I at least have to put some effort into making this. Well, I, I got the, my the Lou Malnati's oh. fresh from Lou himself. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is he a real guy or is it a brand name? It's, it's a real both. guy. Is he alive? Yes. He, I mean, do, even do you if you're dead, they never tell. They yeah, I met him. Uh, Skagzag, uh, do you have? Would you like to present a story reason? If not, uh, <laughs> the, the fan artists actually gave you uh, a pretty oh, awesome uh, story reason as to why you weren't at the fight. If you'd like to see that instead. Oh, story in quotes. Well, well, story in quotes. My, yeah. my reason was going to okay. be my my uh concussion kicked in and i yeah. got lost oh there it is I, I, this one's well, yeah, probably gonna be better you can't, yep, I yep, veto yep, this. Yep. copy paste <laughs> copy paste <laughs> copy paste <laughs> copy paste <laughs> dude <laughs> control c control v <laughs> you've, been, you've been riding the coattails of fucking concussion rp for years it works dude it no, 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 no 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 let me uh i i i'll i'll uh i'll actually show you guys over on the screen right now we're doing we're doing this fan art early because i think dyer did it perfectly and i actually loved this one uh, it's literally where Skagzag and then Skagzag wanders in going, all right, this place has a gym. And he was just getting his, his sweat on, you know, he was just, just getting fucking the moment. <laughs> the shadow we have Lord never seen him work out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there, he has muscles are self-regulating. What is, is, what is he's like, like a <laughs> uh, well, yeah, what do you have canonically high one. strength or did I imagine that over the course of like a year of playing? Uh, he uh, he had a good uh, con stat and a, and a good strength stat, I believe. Did he shake up his stats with the berries, or was no, that no, no? Like that's when he I started. I can't remember if he actually rolled no. He high built strength. his he built his character as not an effective mage. He oh. wanted he, <laughs> he wanted, to be, wanted to be strong, right, dude. He wanted to be strong, so he like gave himself some strength, gave himself some constitution, and then his spellcasting stats were meh. <laughs> like they were yeah, they were they were bad, wild. but they were just like. You know, meh. Yeah, Brett, okay. would he have done more damage if instead of casting catapult, he just threw the rock with his arm? Uh, no, uh, no, absolutely not. But he, mm, if no. if he built himself as an actual mage, not you know, not shaming, uh, it the the rock probably would have hit more often. Uh, his DC was pretty. Sounds like mage shame to me. Um, yep. so... Yeah, he yep. he had 15 strength. He was definitely not bad. Uh, yeah. No, strength. it was good. That's, that's like stronger that's a, that's than I am. Solid. <laughs> yeah, no, I have minus I have, I have eight called. strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have 14, <laughs> but I choked a baby, dude. Yeah, I, I don't think Clerks ever made needed. a successful strength roll in the entire series. Yeah, I think he, I tried oh, to snap a oh. twig once and it, I lost on a nat one. He went Did, he went into the ring. That is that is absolutely true. Did you succeed in your charisma check, Clint? Uh, I actually didn't have to make any. 
Okay. Uh, in the last fight, that was, was a whole thing. bullshit, and I want my money back. You got back. tricked. Wrecked. Yeah. I uh, get one the, charisma uh, check during that fight. Here's the thing. <laughs> he said, are there charisma saves? I said yes. He jumped in the portal. He didn't say, See, well, I, I, I be It's making funny because saves. the reason we didn't get any is because I accidentally <laughs> circumvented the execute mechanic like three Ooh, times. You did. You did. You, you circumvent. Well, the first time you circumvented by accident, and then the second time when you realized what was happening, you were like, hurry it up, Brett. Come on. Let's Because it was literally yeah, that, on that, the that corner. That might have been the yeah. most heated and like amped up I've been in any fight ever because <laughs> it was just such a like, it felt like you were talking slower as it I wasn't. I, I wasn't. I was, I was like dilating and I was like I was staring trying at the clock. Not to. I was trying to make sure that I was talking at a nice pace so I didn't like stumble over my words because if I rushed, it would have taken longer because I would have been stumbling. I would have been tripping over my words. So I was trying to make sure that I was just dun 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 dun, dun like I was oh, telling exactly what I forgot about go. the time I catapulted myself to kill a boss. Oh, yeah. He has a concussion, Remember? dude. He's fucking just breaks Remember? in. <laughs> you should have had a concussion long Remember? before I CT man. threw him out the window. Shit's crazy. All right, so I got a, I, I got a couple of questions for you guys, because obviously when it comes to a Goblin's finale, it can go anyway, and I expect it to go anyway. You know, it's it's this is it. This is the the the, the finale of Phase Two, uh, where your actions will eventually, I mean, determine what happens within Phase Three as far as the history and things go. The next. 500 to a thousand years in the future I, I i still am trying to get the time frame right but we're looking at between 500 to 2000 years in the future is when uh is when phase three is going to happen so all right let's uh, start killing yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we established this whole thing brett where we're just going to ask you for the yeah. names of npcs and then kill them to immortalize them because okay. as long as Where's they have the a name nights? they exist as a character oh like you just drag them on like hey yeah, we're here. just going to drag Pat a bunch of names people out and, and then the execute them. then execute them, them. <laughs> well the first they're the, going to die to time or to us <laughs> <laughs> well so the, the the so here's the the first question i would ask that because there's there's a lot of parts here right so i need to i need to figure out where things are at to tell to figure out the order of the story first of all qua yeah. in the in the grand finale of goblins as they commence with their wait did you say i have to go i no, thought I you were, finger guns oh finger guns so they were like I'm i gotta Kwa. go and qua just go. like wanders <laughs> off yeah well, limited time to come and greg that's yeah, i mean that's, be here for this finale so that's I'm that's ultimately go. well someone asked there was like is g mark gonna be here and i was like i don't know <laughs> like, I was well like, i don't know either am i a goblin or not <laughs> yeah, I that's what i'm saying i was like g mark if g mark's here then we're gonna do a finale g mark Here, I do no it's just that's qua qua would literally just be like i have to go now yeah and Damn. then that's fine like that that's qua that's that makes sense for qua you know what i mean um so but it, i do have to begin uh with qua specifically of what qua it would do so so the first question i would ask to qua after all is said and done ashura has been defeated the shadow lords banished uh back to the shadow veil and uh gobby's returning back to gobby busy business of course um what? everyone sort of had their own like you know standalone adventures between that time um but once again goblin saved the day sure has been banished in the kingdom of Bris uh, brisbane has been uh freed and once again goblins are to thank for that classic so so when it comes to the peasant peasantry, the pleasantries and pageantry, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so when it comes to the pageantries uh, of rewards and, and, and fame and fortune um, with Gobby in, 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 in a Gobby sense in the Goblin land sense and maybe even the human sense, we don't know yet. Uh, Qua, would you participate in such pageantry, or would you go? I'm going to take my son. I had to go pick up my son from yeah, the well, academy. Yeah, well, your your son's still there. Your son is absolutely mm -hmm, still there. Right. You would you would I take left him with a book in the corner and yeah yeah. yeah. Would would you <laughs> would you continue on with uh essentially would you um follow the uh, goblins until they reach their their next step in their life their retirement from adventuring or they well, where are they go where, where are they going that, well, that's, that, they, they, they that, that's the thing is like how well, i gotta we, go find Bron. i are you immediately piecing out going on a boat and be like i gotta find Bron. I, I thought you didn't care about Bron. <laughs> Bro, I thought you verbatim like, said hey. you didn't care about him at all. I feel like this is Clarent talking to uh, talking to Qua. This is, this is me talking in both voices, both Gmar and Qua, because I'm confused. <laughs> well, well, 
It's, it's okay. like it's like the schoolyard when you're like, I don't like her, and it's like I thought you All just right, said you, know you didn't like her. There's no other. There's no. The, Bron already had their finale. There's no more Bron. He's dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. You yeah. see, you cease to exist once the campaign. <laughs> the campaign is that he ended too, so it doesn't matter. But basically, in character, I was gonna go fucking hunt down Bron and make it seem like I was there to kill his ass, and then I was just gonna forgive him and leave. I mean, you can still do that. I mean, there's, I mean, there was still a mission thing. I was yeah. just confused because I did remember you saying, I don't really care. Like, yeah. a fucking. Well, I that's the same. <laughs> just because we're wrapping up does not mean the story doesn't stop at that point. I'm Bron dead, so. Is Bron dead to you? Or is. Because Bron is no, definitely not dead. No, no. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, Bron is absolutely not dead. Um, you know, I gotta but, go find Bron. But Qua is not great with time. So he'd probably like put that off for like right. Um, so he would still years. be with the yeah. So he would still be with the goblin. He's not like I gotta go. Yeah, not right like right now. now. Okay. He's like I, okay. If, for people that are curious, what was on the note? The note. No, no. Said, hold on, I'm hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so no one knows what's on the note, and it's it, you. So I'll leave it to you because it's your note. Uh, but <laughs> literally, Braun read the note. I gave Law Man. The, the I gave it to, I gave, told him what was on the note. Braun read the note. Lawman did not say the note on, out loud, nor did Braun, and so okay. everyone has been wanting well, to know I what's want you on to the know, note. Lawman sent me a Discord me a Discord message after it happened and said, "Nice note. My only regret is phase two will end without me finishing the job." <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, god! So, but what, it what, is, is, uh, what does that mean? So I will ultimately say, uh, this is me to Gmart, that uh, right now, no one knows what's on the note and it's become this iOS history. But because it's a note that you wrote, you are free to share above board. It's especially cryptic if you know it, especially if you didn't know my intentions. I yeah. wrote, I'm alive, I'm coming. Yep, that's the note. <laughs> So that's there you go. That's, that's like the word. That was yeah, it. Did he want to finish, right? dude? What fucking job? Right, like, yeah, you were talking, we're talking like it follows. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, imagine writing that note and then never actually coming. Well, that's yeah. the thing. I'm going to put it off for years. Oh. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yep, and that's that's what it is. That's what it is. So, uh, yeah, bro, we were all like, let's not say it. And I even, I was like, Gmart, like, if anyone asks Gmart, Gmart's absolutely be like, huh? Oh, yeah, I just, this is what the note said. And I was yeah, like, it was fucking, the funniest <laughs> thing was when I was writing it, that they were like, how long do you take to write this note? And I was like, I don't know, like 10 seconds or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah. said 30 seconds, which you, is you a long time to write that. He, he kept had to, he had to think time. about it. He had to think about it for, for 20 yeah, of those seconds. Yeah, yeah. And he writes right. Slow, you know, turtles. Very S slow. C dude. C chat Can't wasn't really wasn't, the wasn't the pay wasn't the payoff not worth it at all. <laughs> so, oh, people are still asking what the note said. Well, there you go. I guess some people will never know. know. What it was so some quick. people will never you know what the note says. It. Yeah, exactly. Some people, what did the note say? <laughs> no, but that's funny, G Mart. But what did the note say? Like, but really though, yeah. like, <laughs> surely that's not it. <laughs> 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 so you're still hanging around out with the goblins. Sure. All right. I then. got my son with me. Okay. I got to find a place. You, you for have him to been paid, down. though. You, you have yes. been paid, so we, we you better not have your fucking yeah, hand I'm out. I'm not an employee. Right. Oh, yeah. So, so. I'm not an employee. I'm a vagrant. Right. <laughs> so, so, Qua finale will happen uh, later. Um, uh, uh, what? Oh. I get my own episode <laughs> finale. You get your, you get the final episode of. Well, of no, Fire. I mean, well, we're, well, I think at this oh, point. Oh, we'll deal with it later. I yeah, see well, 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 yeah, because I think at this point, if you're hanging out with the with the goblins, then I'll be talking. Because Qua, I, 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 there's, I have no reservation, but this Qua is definitely going to be making some fucking waves. No, not a Qua episode. I'm just going to be talking to Gmart oh, offline. I mean, Wait, unless, unless Qua dude, wants to, I, yeah, unless Gmart wants to actually stream me being like, so what do you want to do about your race thing? And like, unless you guys, I was just going to shoot yeah. you a message of yeah, like, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like a yes. vague epilogue or whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll, so we'll, 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 uh, we'll talk about that. We'll discuss about that. So right. yeah, yeah. So I, I can be, I, yeah, put me with the goblins for simplicity. Okay, sounds good. Actually, All I right. gotta look up how old turtles are or live. Oh. Okay, well, if that is the case, then we can begin the episode. 50 years. So. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. That's oh, less geez. than real life turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to take you to the war area. So, Holy you have. Shit. What yep. the fuck? <laughs> you have. You have arrived at the uh, literally boundary of the Southern Ishtar region and the Northern Ishtar region on neutral ground. 
Uh, I don't see anything. Where King? What? All right, hold on one second. <laughs> what the man? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to get the steps and Crenshaw's like, I, how did I get here? <laughs> man. Katie, uh, did you see any, do you, did you uh, of course you don't have vision. Uh, who else uh, can't see anything? I yeah, can who see, else? fine. Okay, I can perfect. See. All, All good, right. Yeah. So you arrive over on the, uh, essentially the new, the neutral uh, boundary line uh, between, uh, between uh, Northern Ishtar, which is the kingdom of, of Brisbane, and uh and uh, southern ishtar aka uh gobby land aka uh portion of the sec uh section of land that chisel rules over and the reason why you are here is because you will be uh having peaceful dialogue and con and uh, discussion with the king of brisbane specifically uh to earn your reward for once again saving io and saving ishtar at this point in time now Still as old as time Sorry. you yeah no it's all good <laughs> you um you all have essentially had your demands of what needs to be and you didn't want to speak to another like figurehead be that because last time you did that the arch magister turned out to be absolutely you know it, that didn't work out very well so you're talking we to the asked king to speak to the manager of Brisbane yes as well. oh and, my god and, 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 <laughs> yeah and that's what you're doing at this point so before we actually get started at this point, um, I had a, a couple of requests or a couple of ideas of things that you would have uh, pitched that you would have wanted from the king. Um, if there's anything that you would like to add in addition to it to add to the negotiating table, because at this point it is negotiating. I mean, you know, you've got two regal figures, Cheezle, you know, Chieftain Cheezle and uh, K the king of Brisbane here, who is essentially at this point not only like you know, you, you guys are negotiating for rewards, but also this is like a peace treaty, a, a chance for a peace treaty between humans and goblins. Uh, that is, of course, if that is ultimately what you decide on this day here, that you are to make peace with the humans or not. Obviously, that cannot, that may or may not happen. That is ultimately up to you and everything that you guys want to do. But essentially, there is a desire of an, of, 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 uh, of allies to, to essentially become allies. The humans want to become allies with the goblins. They want to unify Ishtar um, in a way that works, that the goblins are satisfied with it and uh, Brisbane is satisfied with it. So uh, there are a couple of things that I have here that I was like, that I'm, I'm also gonna ask you questions of what you guys would want. Um, so uh, for Cheezle, uh, Cheezle, I'm assuming you want more power, more land, correct? You want to become the governor, correct? Like, like that, that you've been asking. You want to, you want to be a part of the government. Is, is that correct, Cheezle, or is there anything that you'd want to add in addition? What are, what is Chieftain Cheezle's terms that he would want to present to the king that he wants? Well, Chieftain Cheezle has realized that um, much of the system of power in this world of ours is corrupt, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I'm trying to give power back to the people or the gobbies, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I really want to make change to the world, but also that Senator's wife is single now. Yes. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. She's included in the deal or it's not happening. I <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and write that in the document. Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought we had a connection. I thought we felt something. I'm just uh, saying. We don't right. even know their name. We, we don't sign the same. <laughs> we don't know their name. <laughs> yeah, we have our own document. We don't know their name. We don't learn any of their names. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know the name of the single girl. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is All right. <laughs> Uh, you don't understand this is politics. It's fine. Uh, 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 Clern, I'm assuming you would have asked for. Um, uh, uh, pieces of land, part, parts of land for a uh, lucrative fran uh, franchise deal that you'd like to start over in the oh, Brisbane yes. region? Yes, Clarence is, is trying to currently posture himself to open up a franchise. Okay. Franchise deal, so you want parcels of land of land uh, to uh, uh, what's the word? To, to mercantile, like mer mercantile freely, yes. uh, and maybe the discussion of some uh, franchisee Percentages, like what exactly that would look at. Okay, all exactly, right. Exactly, exactly. Okay, all right. Uh, Piquel, um, I would mm -hmm. assume you would like something to, something built for the pickle religion, or is there something else that yes. Piquel would be interested in? Yeah, a shrine for the pickle religion, and maybe uh, 
Pikel will ledge a pickle Bible and she wants it to become mass printed and widespread. Gotcha. So a shrine for the, the pickle God, the religion. I'm, I'm assuming somewhere within the capital of Brisbane or somewhere close to that or just anywhere yeah. in the kingdom. Yeah, somewhere close so people really see it. Okay, close to the capital <laughs> of Brisbane and you would like a publishing deal for the pickle Bible. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. You've and, got to be the weirdest terms. <laughs> uh, model. What I have for you, model, is essentially the fulfillment of an assassination contract where you actually don't have to assassinate anyone and you just get paid as if you did. What the fuck? <laughs> I just get money? <laughs> is that's what I is have. It, is is there well, multiple? There, you, you, you could also add add things. What he would wants you like? some. He wants some land somewhere, probably near oh. like Clern and Pickel's thing. Um, if possible, but he wants to build something um, for the future. Do you state what you'd like to build, or are you just yeah? Leaving the land he wants there? to he wants to make a school. Oh, huh? an Hold academy on. of sorts. No, oh my god! <laughs> what are you teaching train to a whole who? bunch of assholes? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> assholes. Okay. Asshole school. Got no, it. No, he's, he's gonna make a make an academy or a, a school or something. Uh, would Dude, you, you can't would, count. What are you teaching? Yeah, you can't <laughs> read. You can't count, so it can't be anything like academic. He's gonna teach you the fucking essentials, right? You don't hey, need right, to read so and write like, when you can stab and shoot. Uh, <laughs> school of hard knocks, like. <laughs> exactly, that's is right. It, is it an assassin academy? Slash prison, yeah, maybe. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> what is going on? Oh are god. they wardens? Are they guards? Okay. Dude, I love this. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And uh, would you request maybe the uh, literally the Exodus Academy that is not in use at this point? Is that the yeah, the you think that about it, it was abandoned maybe. or whatever. What is Brisbane? Yeah, it's, it's closer. Yeah, I mean, it's closed. Yeah, so so taking over that. Uh, is there? Are you going to have any like racial restrictions, or is it open to anyone, humans included? It's open to anyone that's destitute, um, and also the rich they kids. Have to be, and rich kids. <laughs> we, <love> the rich <laughs> kids. <laughs> we are oh open God. to the destitute who can afford the rich the kids who want to pretend to be destitute. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, we like hipsters. Okay, okay, all right. They keep the lights on. Uh, Skagzag, you would like to witness a human execution? Oh, without a doubt. Oh okay, God. all right. That's what I have. Is, just, this one? <laughs> is that like my only thing I get? No, I mean, you can be request whatever the hell you want. I mean, this is me as a DM being like, I think this is something that you would have requested. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. But okay. I what also did you do before you, you did this? Well, that's so, what I was going to say. I want to go back to just performing at the circus. But I want like a good one. circus. Oh, I don't want some like cool. traveling circus little wagon. I want like a full Urban decked out resident. like circus machine. I like to imagine Skagzag's like, like he, what, he, he, what he wants is literally just like what he desires in life. It's nothing necessarily that Brisbane can give him. Just be like, I'm tired of adventuring. I want to go back to just running a circus, oh but my like God. my yeah, circus. I, I want to be yeah. happy. Frank from <laughs> Sunny. You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> He's tired of the rich life. He wants to go back to the I want the wild magic circus. The All right. Life. Is that oh something that so is there anything that Brisbane could offer you to help make that happen? Yeah, that or, has nothing to do or, with or, or are you just <laughs> are you just writing your grievances as part of your negotiation? They gotta have some sort of magic something. What? Okay, so once again, it's, <laughs> it's just a they rat. Have it's just a rat. <laughs> they've, got to, they've got to have like a thing I can use for like circus stuff. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. Like insane like ramblings of a maniac. <laughs> is what he's requesting. Like, I want to go to the circus. I just, <laughs> just like the idea is just. It's just, uh, a, it's just a rant. It's just like a drawn on oh, rant. Then you gotta have some magic. I want to be happy for once. Want magic. I, I need the circus. Yeah. Oh, imagine trying What's to jot this down for the country. And I want it to be a good circus too, not like one of those pieces yeah, of yeah. shit traveling ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, in case this all does not um, go as well as you would hope or expected. Uh, there is a uh, contingent, or there, there is a, a um, God, what's the word? I, I totally forgot. But anyways, there's contingency. There's a, not a contingency. Uh. Well, I guess it is kind of like a contingency, but it, it, a, a thing of guards, essentially, uh, of soldiers. A gaggle. 
Yeah, a gaggle, gaggle of, of guys, gaggle of yeah. guards. A gaggle of soldiers and a gaggle of goblins at this point in time. A regiment, thank you very much. Uh, of, of goblins, of ogres, and also so that if this for some reason goes south, because, I mean, two rulers are essentially meeting on neutral ground to negotiate. I mean, hopefully a We've peace treaty. We can't lose this. Yeah, between <laughs> humans and goblins, uh, but also the, making sure the goblins uh, get there, get what they want at that point as well. So um, when you are ready, I mean, you guys are free to discuss, talk about, plan, do whatever you want. When you are ready, I will take you inside the tent where you will speak with um, the king along with a couple of his senators. All right. Uh... Jesus. Jesus staring Jesus. forward. Jesus. I think he went to the bathroom. I'm gonna repeat this. Oh, he said bathroom. Jesus. I see. I see. Jesus. We, can, we can wait for him. Jesus. We can wait for him. I don't want to. I think he. I think he's ceasing up. I think. I think he's. Oh my God. Jesus. Concussion's contagious. He's... Jesus, be there, <laughs> Jesus, wake up. <laughs> Is one of you need to be king instead? I don't want that. I don't want to oh, responsibility. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I think he, look, you can see his the the lights coming back to his eyes. This is like, the most persuasive. <laughs> it's foaming outside the mouth. His eyes are glassing over. Is he <laughs> does does he over have a crown on his head? I mean, yes, he does. He still. <laughs> Here's the fucked up thing. He still has the crown the arch magister gave him because he didn't actually toss it out. Well, well, no, we had the curse of it cured. Remember? Yeah, but I'm, oh, I'm yeah, checking. Oh yeah, that was worked on. Yeah, yeah, that's still. Yeah. I, it feels I like a chieftain crown or something. It just doesn't do anything anymore. Yeah. It's, a, it's yeah. exclusively a cosmetic option. Yeah, it just looks really good <laughs> at this point in time. So Jesus just like on the ground at this Would point. Would it be kind of fucked up if we carried him in? Sort of like a weekend at Gobby's deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what Would wouldn't be too on? hard? It'd be just oh, easy to disguise you What's as him at that point. Uh, uh. All right. So yeah, at that point, you just see Jesus wake up. After his eyes were glassed over, his mouth foaming, he, he wakes up a little bit. Uh, yeah, so he was... Continue. <laughs> continue at that point. Hey, buddy. Jesus, you blacked out. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, I'm tired. It's a lot of pressure before a Is big uh, conversation with the other king, right, bud? Yeah, this I'm could be the defining moment of your whole chieftain dumb. No! <laughs> It's just you me speak. Yeah. yeah. Have you done any diplomacy before, Jesus? Or is this a kind of like you want you want to look over I've me? I've met in a, while a king kind of before. Oh my god. All right, old man. <laughs> How, how'd that go for you, Qua? He tried to kill me. So you so the bar is low, Jesus. <laughs> look at Qua over here. He tried to kill him. He's got to do better than that. Okay, Jesus, no be Jesus, what's your plan going in? Ah, uh, well, yeah. win big time. Okay. Win yeah. big time. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the, the plan is. It's good plan. plan. Is no, no, I, Jesus, you're not gonna jump on the table, are you? No, she's a big chief. No, 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 jump on table. You're gonna sit in your throne like a king or a chief. I would recommend striking first. Okay. All right, Qua. It's uh, not listen. good when they get the drop on you. They're not, they're not gonna get the He's drop right. on us. Don't let them get the drop. Then no one's gonna get I the drop on us. Definitely don't let them push you into a hole. Yeah, <laughs> nobody's pushing us anywhere. We'll push back. Listen, let's avoid pushing anyone until we at least find out if it's going that way, all right? Learn! Yeah. What do you want from meeting with Big Humi Chief? I want land, Chisel. I want land, and I want the rights to work on those lands. But, oh, Claude, we have all of Ishgardi. Yeah, but I mean, that's some land. I need to I need to expand the land options I have. You, you see, want the I mean, north with the humies? I want a little bit of land everywhere, Jesus. I'm getting into franchising, getting back into retail. <laughs> so no, no humie chief, only no. Jesus chief. 
I mean, you can be chief of whatever you want, chief. Once I get my, once I get my land, I don't give a damn what you do to these people. Well, I mean, I think you do give a damn because you need stability to get into retail. <laughs> no, you don't. You can't sell shit. No, you don't. No, you don't. Right. Desperation, no, desperation in the populace is one of the easiest ways to drive money up. Trust me. Money up for what? Supplies? What are you fucking selling, Clint? Clint's gonna walk up. If I don't have money, <laughs> he's a bad man. <laughs> don't worry about what I'm gonna be selling, model. All right. I've had this idea brewing in my head for years. Yes, well, you want to sell my year. Brian? Hey. Let's give listen. you a discount. What? Uh, I mean, look, Pico, the thing is, the thing about that is you, you have a, you can't just sell brine. Like, what's the, what's the value behind it? What's the selling point behind it? He's what the value of brine? He's good. not to pay attention to everything I do I mean, for I mean, you this the past brand, the trip? The brand recognition is weak. You don't, there's no label on the brine. If I put that brine next to another bottle or jar of brine, it would just look like two Jars of brine next to each other. But Pico, you Pico gotta fix brine. up your brine. No, no, dude. He's famous. He will draw a logo, okay? Yeah, maybe get a logo going. Because if I ask this this guy over here what kind of brine that was, they just say it's brine. He just looks over. <laughs> he looks he's like, I don't think you know it's brine, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. long story short, that's what I'm going for. So you need land. Jason, yeah. what are you doing, bud? He's a no chief without a big chief, Dez. <laughs> Got it? What? I could have explained oh. that. <laughs> oh, Jason, not again. <laughs> Always, Clark. <laughs> I, ugh, Clark shivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah. Jason. Yeah, do, do we all know specifically what everyone else asked for in this, in this demand? I'm guessing we don't since we're at the garage. We're circle. talking about it now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason, yeah. what did you, what did you ask for? Jason uh, wanted. Uh, he's embarrassing for Jason. You gotta yeah. tell me, Jason. Okay. Ah, uh, big time, Jason. Uh, Princess, or she's a girlfriend, or she's a smooch friend, you know, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. You, you asked the kingdom of Brisbane for a smooch friend. <laughs> That's oh. what, that is what the chieftain of the Ishtar Highlands asked. Yes, the, in order, I say, number one, smoochy girlfriend, number two, Place for for Pico to have Pico church. Number three, make it a school for the. For the and then yeah. number four. For who? Okay. Why are you making a school? All right. Hold, hold, hold on. Who are you? Who are you? Who's the one 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 who's the Brand, right that's there. a good brand. See, Pico, that's what I'm talking about. Cheezel gets it. Whatever, it's just okay. I will think of a good brand, okay? Uh, Cheezel, mate, don't you think it kind of subverts your position in a debate if you're asking them for a bride? Makes you look good. You have your own bride. Makes you look good. Cheezel, just be honest. Yeah, also, just want to bring it up. You know, don't you want someone that wants you and isn't just kind of like, you know, part of a contract or something? No, contract is permanent. Okay. Oh he, I mean, I'm telling you, this guy gets it. He gets, he gets the business better I than anything. I learned from Claire. I learned from Claire. Exactly, his, his kid gets it. Okay. But yeah, no, Jesus, that is extremely <laughs> sad. Yeah. How sad? Love in the air. What? No, love is on paper, apparently, and it's written love is, down. Love is apparently something that you can just... contractually. <laughs> Question for Brett. Question. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what are goblin relationships like? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a good question, to ask actually. Yes. V violent? <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, so oh. like passionate, <laughs> like passionate, oh, you know. Like, yeah. Let's yeah. not use that kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because oh, it's just passion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Cheezle is like, uh, he doesn't get it. And so he's learned a lot from Clark and his friends. Yeah. He's also a barbarian. Yeah, Clark is you know? not a good role model is the thing. <laughs> Cheezle's really set up for a lot Clark of Clark is not a role model. Uh, well, I, did, I, think, yeah. um, I think that makes sense. <laughs> I don't then, know. Uh, the Chief Big Belly kind of makes sense as well, that you'd grow up thinking that stuff was normal. Yeah, he's, he's been exposed to such shit. He eats his own daughter so normal is <laughs> pretty wild. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Right, right. Yeah, they, right. They, I don't. Uh, Man, Jeez, we really, really, we really fucked this kid up. It's all internalized from his youth. Nothing to do with I know, with it us. couldn't be our fault. It's not our fault. No, no, I won't accept personal accountability <laughs> for my children <laughs> and friends. <laughs> hey, Jason, bud. Yes. Uh, you're asking for a lot of things on the on the list, right? And you're trying to get stuff for us as well, it seems, based on the conversations we might have had earlier, but not quite. Oh, I just know. Oh. <laughs> I watch you guys. Where did the school thing come from? Which, which one, again, which one are Jesus. you ask for the school then? No idea. Anyway, so thing it is... was what what do like at the school. Model. He's saying, I want school slash prison to teach us as a... Yeah. Slash well, prison? We were talking about it earlier. Thing is, right? I kind of want to pass down the things I've learned, and I don't have to do it myself anymore. You know, getting you my wanna... hands bloody right. all the time. It, I don't like the way the soap like dries out my hands. You know. So yeah. think, train up a couple of kitty winkles, uh -huh. send them on a mission or two, get yeah. the money, okay. and oh, I just stay home. So here's the thing about that: you have to teach them. The people right. that you, that you want teach. to teach others, Look which already Jesus. kind of gets to the, you to the spot you didn't want to do to begin with. He's just flexing in the background for you, like, oh, so strong. Yep. I could do press ups, I could teach them physical also, things. Why is it a prison? Oh, the prison's like if you're bad and shit, right? I didn't go to school. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I, you know what? Follow your dreams, model. I'm not about to tell you that. Is this well, going to be the first it's... goblin actual school? Wait, never mind. There was a. No, it's a goblin school, right? It was right? a bard college. Yeah, but yeah. was that yeah. run by goblins? College. There was a college. This is like an elementary yeah, school situation. Of goblins, I, think. I don't know what uh, Elementary school. Oh, how dare you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we take you from kindergarten all the way up to fucking like your 20s. <laughs> wow, it's just like for life. It's an academy. <laughs> it's a prison. <laughs> it's, it's a prison sentence. <laughs> you don't uh, get to leave. No. All right. Uh, so... Uh, are you ready to, to move forward as Qua has wandered off underneath this tree? Qua, what are you doing? I was just admiring this fine tree, thinking about how I might awaken it. Are you just looking at it like, I miss my son. <laughs> I need to get back to swim soon. <laughs> Why did you where leave the, him? Where the fuck is Qua? Where, where is he walked oh, away. He's up, up there, I see. I also yeah. came to inspect their troops. <laughs> right. All right. Um, so... Well, we're all set. Looks like it. All right. Uh, Qual, I... will you, you be joining them in the tent? Oh, yeah. I'm not letting them get ambushed by some king. Yeah. Can I ask a question? A yeah, absolutely. Like, <laughs> never again. All right. Never again. Never forget. I'm sure, like, there's a bunch of ways this can go, but... Are we down for killing this king and uniting the Ishgard? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I think two must murder. become Look, one. Let's okay? leave it in our pocket as an option, depending yeah. on how the talking goes. Yeah. Right? Okay, yes, yes, yes. plan yes. before we talk to them. North and south united, a, go a kingdom of goblins and humans. I'm just saying, not a thousand you. years in the future. Not this guy, but under you. <laughs> right, under me. And a thousand years in the future, who knows what those people will look like? I look, say it could be fun. That's NPCs for that... We're doing his job. That's true. As far as Clarence concerned, as long as he gets the land rights, whether it be from you or this guy, it's an irrelevant. You help me take over, you can have all the oh, land. Man. I'll make you a baron. I'll make you Baron Clarence. Oh my god! You'll all be baronets in my in my kingdom. He doesn't want to be a baron. He wants to own the barons financially through lobbyism. You know, he wants <laughs> exactly. to be exactly. Bet he gets yeah. it. I'll put you on my on my council. You'll be the leader of fine. You'll be finance minister. There you go. You're welcome. Oh He's making up jobs. Yeah, I mean, that's what jobs are. You can do that when you're king. Anyway, <laughs> we're ready to go in. All right. 
So, you guys will you know, walk in through what apparently is, like I said, uh, it almost appears as an active war zone, uh, just in case things go awry. Um, this goes this goes south, because sometimes negotiations do do that, and the fighting can pretty much immediately begin at that point. Uh, Chieftain Sheezel, uh, would you go in first, or would you let everyone else go inside the tent first? Oh, are you kidding me? They're going in, and then I come in last, and they're just gonna. I want Clarnt to play a dope ass beat when I come in. Clarnt doesn't play instruments anymore. <laughs> well, like with his mouth, Clarnt will play a dope ass clap. beat. <laughs> I could. Well, you want me to like clap or something? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> yeah, do that, do that, do that dope ass beat, the Clarnt. I don't, I don't do beats. Do we will rock you? Do we will rock you? Do do we we You're good at that one. I don't, I don't, all I still have is ancient have. earth, so, earth, not earth, mud song. We will rock yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here, here he is from way down south in the Ishtar Highlands. He clerk fucking sidles in the door. Chieftain, Chisel, and the rest of them. Oh, um. All right, everyone's walking in. Yes. yes. Cheezel oh. puffs at his chest and tries to look real tough. It's it's not me, him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we stomp stomp clapping as we walk in? What's happening? I mean, oh yeah, we are like coming in like the jets. Stomp, stomp, yeah. That is that is happen. that is up to you. Uh, you I'm not get doing to, that. Yeah, I was like you as your your <laughs> player <laughs> character it, decides what you would like to do. That is correct. He starts. He starts to beat. He stops to beat the second they are, they're all in, like in the middle of what could have been possibly a song. And wow. just immediately just, uh, you'll see you'll chair. see the senators as well as um, the king stand up. They will give a uh, a bow at that point of time, respectfully, over to you. Um, you will. Uh, you'll actually see uh, the knights that left you before. Uh, oh, no. Schumann and Barras over oh there, uh, along with a random senator and the king who's now standing up. Uh, they give you a respectful bow. Uh, the king will say, uh, Chief didn't uh, chisel. It is finally, it is a wonderful opportunity that we finally have this chance to, to speak and to talk. And this would be good for, for all humankind and goblin kind. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me on neutral, neutral land. Thank you, your majesty. And then Cheezel looks to the two humans they know and just like starts waving maniacally at them. Uh, hey there, guys. Uh, they also kind of give like a s slow wave at that point. Uh, Schumann kind of like, you know, gives a respectful wave. Baris will just like give a, a, a huge wave as well. Um, the king, the king will actually look over to Schumann and Barris and just say, uh, these two have actually spoken very highly of you. And they, really? they he nods. He said, <laughs> uh, they, they, they instructed me that you fought well together. And unfortunately, because of the accident of the previous senator of the region, um, that, you, that, that you did everything. <laughs> it's like the least obvious. Yeah. yeah. That you did. That you did. That you did everything that you could to save him. But unfortunately, it's just talking was... about the body we dumped. He, it, the, Are you saying he... this out loud? I'm. Yeah. I, we're not. Oh, we're not like a hushed tone. But yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. okay. It's, it's the guy we dumped in your in your chimney. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. It was a damn shame what happened to him, Your Majesty. Yeah. Uh, damn Schumann shame. stands up, pounds his fist. It's like it was a damn shame that he died because of that unfortunate hunting accident. And then he looks over uh, to the goblins, sweaty. Like there was nothing that could have been done. In nothing that, that could have been done. Schumann he says once everything again, screaming. They could to bring him back. Oh, is not possible. Did, they did everything uh, they well, could. Well, you guys wouldn't let oh, me Captain try to Mike reincarnate him, so. I'm, I'm sorry. This, oh, is our, this is our delusional turtle. He's, he's a grandpa. He does not still. know what he's talking he's about. I'm actually quite young. <laughs> I, no, he's uh, stupid uh, and old. Uh, oh, he's, 
he is one of your elders. Well, it is a pleasure to meet yes. one of your goblin elders. Nodding over. To I'm fall. actually not a goblin. I am a turtle. He's in. He's in turtle. They used to call them that. Goblins were called turtles. <laughs> oh my god. Day. Oh, well, there's much to learn about each other's culture. The king will go ahead and continue. Needless to say, the junior Senator Shubin has, uh, has spoken highly uh, of you. Um, unfortunately, since there was no one that could take his charge, uh, Shubin graciously uh, took the seat until the next election cycle. Shubin is now staring at you guys with this look of like, please, just go <laughs> along with this, please. <laughs> well, uh, you know, from the time we spent with Schumann, he, he was a real stand-up guy. I think he'll do a good job. And Schumann, the, Schumann uh, nods. He's nodding, and he says, and I think these goblins, they uh, really just break the mold of what the common man thinks of what a goblin is. You know, these, these fine individuals have saved us time and time again. We should listen to what they want and hope we can uh, come to an agreement so that peace can be earned this day. And then Schumann will just nod and give you guys a, a wink and a thumbs up. And the king goes, um, yes, of course. Uh, uh, please, uh, if everyone uh, is comfortable, uh, we can talk about terms. And you'll see everyone sit down at this point. Are you all sitting I down currently? I prefer to stand, actually. And he's kind of watching his back. Yeah. Making sure there's no holes behind him. As long as you're uh, comfortable, Elder, you're free to do as you wish. Oh, yeah. If he sits down, he's not going to be able to get back up. So he's back. He's horrible. He's back. a whole thing. He's not worth that it. That long. Tailbone. Oh, yeah. Tail. Yeah. It's tail. It's <laughs> tail. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's let's go ahead and go down the list. Um, it seems uh, the one named Model requested uh, some land, specifically that to build an academy. Um, this is to yep. be to sort of. Um, uh, an academy of, uh, of, uh, uh, of skills of almost like of subterfuge, maybe for, for agents. Is that, is that correct? I like your friendly words. Yeah. It's, it's like a gathering of miscreants, you know, I'm going to show them my ways, teach them how to do things for me, earn me money. Yeah. I, uh, I see a, school. Uh, yeah. a, a, a guild of some sort, perhaps a school. Yeah. A school. Oh, very well. Um, and you wanted it here on the uh, the Brisbane Kingdom land. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, your human kids are pretty rich, right? Uh, I mean, our, the wealth is distributed uh, variably amongst the people. Some right. are where more... Would it peak? Where's the peak of that distribution? Uh, I mean... Probably those of nobility, uh, the same that would uh, be recruited into our Exodus Academy. where is the peak of the, of the distribution, though? He's blinking, and he's like, I understand you're trying... I understand what you're you're attempting. Yeah, that's you want to make sure that this business uh, venture of yours is successful. Uh, we do have an academy that we are currently not using that we are willing to uh, bargain for. It is up in the uh, mountainous regions, which requires airship travel and would, would require a lot of maintenance. Oh. We would provide right. you with a, uh, a grant of gold so that you can use our airships to bring people in, charge whatever tuition you'd like at that point in time to make the money that you need, so that way you do not have to rely upon our grant of money. Otherwise, what we can do is, uh, well, I suppose start work on a smaller school, uh, closer to the capital of Brisbane, if you so require. Yeah, I mean, is that going to take a long time? I, the things do take time to build. Uh, yes, sir, model. Really? Okay. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that sounds good to me. I'll take a small school, like a starter, and then we'll work our way up through the ranks. Yeah, but I do get the big one. Yeah. Uh, I, it would be one or the other. Otherwise, we would do something with the academy. The big, the big one. The, I want the big one. Do you want the take the, take the, the big one? The big one yeah, the, up. The, the, the big the big school, the biggest school. I I I do feel that I had I have to let you know that it, it once was a dwarven fortress and it does have well, a that bit works of perfectly for the prison. 
that's going inside the school. Oh, why did you talk about that part? <laughs> the uh, he looks over at the notes, kind of like putting his glasses, a little bit like tiny glasses on the the prison, and he starts reading over. As he then is just looks right, back right. up to you, and he's just like, "What do you need a a a, a prison for?" The noy kids. Right. Um, we could agree to this as long as there would be some standards placed by the Kingdom of Brisbane, since you would be uh, performing academia uh, on uh, our yeah, lands. Yeah, of, course. of course. I mean, you would you would tell me what to do, and I'd have to adhere to the standards, right? Uh, yeah, in 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 so many terms, but yes. And you would send someone along to come check that I'm like adhering to those standards. Uh, that is correct. Uh, and what, what happens if people like that get lost in the mountains, though? Uh, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> well, I suppose we would send another. And then? <laughs> what if people kept continuously model, getting lost model, in the this, mountains? This line of questioning that, is yeah, really I mean, gosh, it's treacherous territory, Claren. Hold on. I like mean, we would we would uh, send a contingent of guards at that point in time to investigate their. How many though? Just curious. Uh, <laughs> I, I, he then looks over at you and then would say, uh, "Enough." Needless, needless to say, right. one way or another, we would ensure there would be order within the academia okay. halls. Okay. Okay. Well, that sounds manageable for me. Okay, so <laughs> I will I will take you up on that. The biggest school, please, and prison fortress. Uh, yes, of course. Um, if you do wish to run this, of course, the majority of the profits would go towards you. Uh, but the Kingdom of Brisbane would request that you would pay a uh, annual tax of gold. Is that uh, sufficient for you? Uh, yeah. Uh, very well, then. Uh, then yes, uh, we would uh, do that to re reform the Exodus Academy into... Do you have a name for the school? Hold on. I whisper to client, what's tax? <laughs> oh my god. They'll never, they'll never remember to check on you anyways. Okay, cool. What's uh, tax? The name for the score. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I could call it models, hovel, for learning and such. Uh... I'm very curious about the end such. <laughs> the king the king kind of has a uh, like a, you know like a finger on his temple a little bit before he like uh, straightens his position again and he says uh, would you be willing to discuss uh with our scholars and senators uh ideas for a name for the school? Yeah, I mean you could shoot some by me. I am the headmaster though, right? That's the whole point. Yes, of course, of course. I just want to ensure that and people are interested in the school that you would like to build. Uh, name I'm sure they will be. Yes, the I mean, I'm a everything. hero of Io, right? Prestigious. Model, it all looks back to branding. Right, brand. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, right. I want it branding. short and choppy. I really want, like, a good logo, too. A logo, yes, of course. Uh, do you have a yeah. Do you have a family logo that you use? Uh, do you I don't have any family. That's right. the thing, right, about me, is that I don't have any family. Right. So I don't have a logo. So you would be a you would be a a, a, a no name. Is that correct? Well, I mean, I, I suppose. Me? I suppose. I suppose we could uh, bestow upon you a surname, uh, one that had be, has been passed on for quite some time, and then you would be free to choose your own logo. You're gonna give me a surname. Well, like a surname. Like a, like a, a name. Sur a second name. Uh, yes, a surname of your choice. I get to choose my own surname. Uh, well, yes, we can check inside the archives. Again, there are plenty of surnames that families hey guys, have not claimed. What are all your surnames? Oh, God, don't. <laughs> Why would you do is... this? Wow. <laughs> He's about uh, to know what surname is. We're, we're getting lost in the fine print of this deal right now. Yeah, I think we should uh, just, you know. Uh, all right. Ultimately, I would be up for discussion in the future, if you so wish. We'll save it for later, okay? Mm, all I want is the big school with all the bougie kids that come down in their little airships and give me money, all right? Right, yes, we can... I'm so, I, I'm sure we can We can make sure that fits right in. And the Thanks. king looks over at the notes again and says, <laughs> uh, uh, pi, 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 Pikel? You said Pikel, yes. She's ah. gonna get up on the table so ah. she can see better. Yes, and he'll kind of give like an elegant bow while sitting down at that point in time. 
She'll curtsy and fall on her ass and sit down. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Piquel, um, the king, looks over at the notes and says, uh, from my understanding, you have a, uh, a religion that you would like to spread influence uh, over into the kingdom of Brisbane, specifically a religion of pickle. Now, it's, it's right. You probably heard of it. Do you not think that this is ludicrous? <laughs> we're talking about fucking pickles. Well, and well, I mean, so that's, we'll where, that, that's that's where the king. We're also the heroes. Yeah, so. the king, obviously we're like at, the strongest beings in existence. Right, right, right. So that's where the king at that point would go. Uh, now, normally when I would hear something like this, I would be extremely inquisitive, and I was. So, um, I specifically looked uh, to Senator Schumann over there. Uh, if they knew about this uh, pickle religion, uh, Schumann uh, has told me that it is a very powerful magic, and Schumann just kind of looks, like, visibly looks nervous and sweating at this point in time, <laughs> traumatized by some of the magics that have happened, yeah. and that your uh, your dogma has been able to do uh, perform quite a miraculous uh, group of feats. Is that, is that correct? Yes, yes, my dog is cool, but my pickle's more important. Hey, can I just stop here? Is that human named Schumann? You weren't, you'd never get it. Schumann the human? <gasps> oh, dude. <laughs> so, at that point. That's called, that's called branding. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on, uh, the king uh, would, uh, at that point, just kind of. God, I lost my train of thought. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a sh there's a human named Schumann, though, dude. <laughs> Schumann the human. Sh Schumann? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, at that point, um, the the king, yeah, would just, would just continue and said, we would be uh, curious to learn more um, of exactly your powers and what it can do. I mean, clearly it has done something if it has saved the kingdom of Brisbane Bain, uh, several times at this point now, uh, kind of looking over at, at Piquel. Uh, we'd be willing to give you a uh, plot of land to allow you to build a temple and to spread your uh, religion so far as it is a, po so far, so long as it is a positive influence to the people of Brisbane, uh, we would be interested in learning more of your dogma and your theology. Uh, Brisbane, of course, would request uh, a small tax uh, to maintain such order. Uh, over in our regions. It's not a lot of taxes. It's why you keep asking about my dog. This is about me. I don't understand. You say dogma. <laughs> dog. Uh, oh, uh, my apologies. Uh, your belief system, your structure of belief. Oh, it's, why not just say that? I don't understand. It's, it's, listen, it's, do you want to try a pickle? It's speak for itself. Uh, you'll see Schumann over here just kind of look over to the king and nod and say, it's actually quite tasty. <laughs> um, at this point, it's a moment of diplomacy. Does the king trust Pikel enough to try oh a pickle without the hopes of being poisoned? Give it a try. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pickle. As an assassin, I know that people often want to check food before they get given it, right? Oh, Especially right. important it's people. He's glad to are here, Motley. You know these things well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to try your own pickle to prove it's not poison. Oh, he's gladly eat my own pickle, and then he can eat the same pickle that I eat. I think no, 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 no. Maybe we, no? maybe we, maybe we don't do. Uh, maybe just like break off a bit of it. Maybe don't bite into it, and then give it to him. He's not like, what if she's the a, problem what if she's is he's not have it? cooties. Pickle, yeah. you are filthy. It's not filthy. Filthy. filthy! She has like you're mud filthy. on her face and like dirt on her <laughs> fingernails. Uh, you'll <laughs> see, you'll see Schumann, uh, you'll see Schumann interrupt at this point and say, I'm willing to split a pickle with the king. I will ingest the pickle first to ensure that it is indeed safe. And then, uh, my lordship, you would then try the other, the other half, correct? King Bris Brisbane at that point would be like, uh, this would be sufficient and then would beckon Pikel forward. All right, she's gonna grab her pickle jar, hop off, and climb on top of the table. Oh, right the king kind of like leans back a little bit and <laughs> Schumann just reassures him, like, that's all right, all right. Okay, it's the best if you have it fresh right away, so she's gonna unscrew the jar and take one out and uh, snap it in half. 
It's oh, it's one of the pieces is bigger. Who wants the bigger pickle? I, 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 Schumann's like, I will go ahead and take the, the bigger pickle. Thank you. Okay, I give Schumann pickle. So and when pickle. are we going to attack them? Quad, you say that out loud. <laughs> oh my God. Again, hushed tone, but like, <laughs> yeah. they can tell I'm murmuring something to the group. Right, okay. Yeah, just making sure that anything uh, you guys say hey, is actually... Quad, you, gotta, you gotta chill out, Quad. You gotta calm <laughs> the hell down. Is, is actual canon, so... Uh, so, Pikel would give a larger fragment of the pickle over to Schumann. Uh, Schumann will ingest the pickle at that point in time, and okay. as he chews the needs, you'll kind of see his face become more rejuvenated at this point. And then he would look at the king waiting. King Brisbane takes the other half at that point in time to, uh, yeah, to eat the, uh, the other half of the pickle. And, uh, yeah, you'll just see the, like, life slowly return to the king's face. What may have been a, a tireless negotiation of stress just kind of, like, washes away at that point in time as he is, as it just is relaxed and, and eased in. Um, the, and the king looks over at, uh, Piquel and then mm -hmm. goes, that is, oh, that is incredible. Uh, yes, 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 thank you for recognition. It's nice to have some respect around here. I, from a personal standpoint, would love to learn more of your belief system. Maybe some stories from your religion. Oh, he has so many stories. He's talked to Pickle God myself many a time. I can tell you all about it. Mm. Uh, I confirm they don't exist. <laughs> we don't, I don't hear a whisper model. back there. There's <laughs> nothing happening. I would, uh, yes, but needless to say, we will find a nice place uh, in a uh, landscape of your choice. We will build the shrine up um, and allow you to share your religion for those that are interested uh where do you get the pickles from oh it's a secret trust me <laughs> oh, all right oh, well. nice <laughs> hey, really just the worst way to put it <laughs> <laughs> all right then i'm just saying that there may be a lot of hungry people that want uh to take part of the pickle oh oh it's mass produce is it what you want brandy he counts my brain! Oh, I would love to brand my brain, you know? Exactly! He, he slaps forehead. <laughs> he, tilts, he tilts his head a little bit and says, uh, we will discuss later, but I'm sure we can arrange something for you. Okay. Yes, thank you. I am glad you like the pickle. She's going to bow and hop off. Okay. Very well. Excellent. Um, all right, then. Let's uh, continue down the list here. Uh, is the, uh, is there someone named Klernt here? Klernt. Oh, uh, yeah, it'd be that me. That would be me. Oh. The hell up. <laughs> Klernt's Sorry. getting sick of Klernt. He is buddy. deteriorating fast. <laughs> no, Klernt is the name of the grandpa. mushroom on my head. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's like a psycho in the back asking <laughs> we're going to kill him. <laughs> Klernt is slowly is getting to his wit's end trend. with Claw. The intern goblin. So, uh, the king will look over to Clerk, uh, and say, So I understand you requested several parcels of land to open up some sort of mercantile shop. Uh, is that correct? Oh, yes. I'm getting into franchising, you see. You want to open up, uh, I'll get back into retail. It's been too long. Yes, yeah, so you mentioned this this term franchising. Now I I, I do deal with the uh, affairs of of money and the organization of such. Uh, franchising is not a term I'm actually familiar with. Is this uh, something that goblins tend to do? Oh well, it's like a it's like a chain. You know, it's like multiple of the same thing. You know, you could have like a general store. Right. How I'll would put you put a big name on that general how... store that says something like, say, Kmart, and how... then you make another general store? How would you operate all three shops at the same time, though? Hey, hey, I you... could run one. No, 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 no. You're not <laughs> only people in my with K you, you names stick, you stick are to your own dreams, to right, run <laughs> Kmart. Then I could also run one with Kwa Kwa I'm not letting you anywhere near it. Never heard of employees, Your Majesty. <laughs> Um, I mean, I, I, I've heard of apprentices, sure. Is, there, is it like that? Well, it's kind of like an apprentice, except they're established something like, say, 
a small, almost barely livable amount of wage in order to incentivize them to continue to work for them. It's almost like, say, slavery, but not really because they are receiving a small amount of monetary income so as to not be literally slavery. But oh at the end oh of the my, day, we, we frown upon slavery. Well, it's not because they're getting paid, so it's not. Right. Just like you're what explaining to him what like jobs are, but backwards. <laughs> and, 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 and the king blinks. He says, "So it is slavery, but it's well, not." Well, no, because slavery. if it was slavery, I wouldn't be paying them. But you yeah. said it was like slavery. Well, it is, but they're getting paid, so it isn't. Don't so, worry, they paid me. Twit rolls persuasion for 35. Yeah, hit him with it. <laughs> oh my it God. don't matter. I was going to say, we're talking. It don't Get matter. Get a jail free card is uh, your fucking bonus rolls. I, uh, I see. So what you're telling me is that it's uh, based off of a technicality, but it actually is not slavery. It, you Legally mentioned yes. things slavery. Yeah, it's, so, it's sort of like towing the line, but, hmm. all right, they would receive money. And right. they would technically be allowed to quit, but they never would. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this Sorry, after I'm, they're I'm, at Models Jail. No, I, I. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking to myself with a 35 persuasion, the king would probably scratch his chin a little bit, and he would say, "Well, I'm sure if one of our citizens of Brisbane tried to operate something, this feels like it could be taken advantage of very easily." But it seems that you, a goblin who has invented this tradition of franchising, oh yes, may actually be a master of it. So you're telling me this would actually be good for the people. It could, it could stimulate the economy. It could bring in plenty of new job oh. opportunities Whoa. for your people and people around the world. Mm. Franchising. Do they, do they care about that? Do they? Mm, yes, I see. I, these terms are, I'm unfortunately <laughs> unfamiliar with. However, uh, you, what you're telling me is this would bring a uh, new flow of capital within the kingdom of Brisbane. Oh, yes. Oh, it would, it would do exactly that. Well, I'm persuaded. <laughs> yeah, really, you well, you got 35, you got me. Um, and, he, and he just at that point goes, well, I would be interested to see more of these, uh, these, these, the, this gold gaining tactics of franchising. We have three locations that we are willing to give you, and I understand that you are merely requesting of two of them a, and he looks over the paper, a 5% uh, revenue fee. Is that correct? That's about right, yes. Oh, okay, then. Um, I suppose we can also, at that point in time, since you are giving people a, a, a fair earnings, and people are currently looking for jobs to get in, to earn more money uh, for their families, uh, we could uh, perhaps have some sort of... I, w I was thinking almost like a like a carnival. You see, he then pulls out another piece of paper. I was trying to read this last night. Clark uh, starts sweating. One of you just scribbled a circus over and he, over he's and sweating. over Clark is sweating so hard. I did this exact maybe put near any of his stuff in the future. And, I, and honestly, I wasn't sure what this is, but then I read what you were saying, Clerd, and I had Red an idea. What if we combined the ideas and had a had a career circus, almost like a job fair for easier uh, it, it, easier pronunciation? Oh, oh that's why. Uh, look, I mean, I I wouldn't dare. Let me be clear about something. All right, this guy over here, one of the best. Businessman I've ever known. Clern is lying through his teeth yeah, right now with yeah, a big yeah, smile. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but uh, we've both we we've both established that we're gonna be doing our own things in the future. I'm I don't want to be. Oh, I, I understand. So in here. other words, uh, uh, that that goes to you, uh, a skag zag. Is that correct? He's BRB right now. Oh, got you. Skagzag's <laughs> foaming at the mouth. Oh, he's eyes. concussioned out. Yeah. yeah, at that point. Oh, yeah, right. He'll be back online in a few minutes. Hold I, uh, I, uh, I understand. Well, so, yes, I, I, I agree with you. We could have Skagzag be the ringleader of the career circus to recruit people 
for your current mart. Uh, this is actually a, 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 a fortuitous event. Uh, thank you very much for the suggestion, Clurnt. And yes, we will allow you uh, these two. Clurnt is sweating, but he knows for a fact that he can just sort of uh, correct this at any point after these deals, after this deal is done. It's like such a separate thing. So. Uh, uh, and, and then finally, I suppose, because now he's looking at, uh, He's looking at a skag zag who is concussioned out at this point in time. Uh, and then that leaves you, Chieftain. Uh, uh, Chieftain Cheezle. You had an interesting list of uh, requests, but one thing that you've highlighted is that if... And all it says here is, if the senator's wife does not marry me, none of these deals will go through. I, I'm not certain exactly what you mean by this, but I cannot force marriage upon anyone. Chieftain Cheezel, you would understand that. I'm uncertain how it's done in goblin uh, culture, um, but uh, we have done away with arranged marriages quite a long time ago. As he kind of like taps the, the paper over to Cheezel. Uh, Cheezel looks at him with like, you know, the one raised eyebrow as it slowly goes up and he's like, So is off table? Hmm, I, I would like to, um, actually propose something else, if you would be interested. Oh, please, your majesty, she's a love to know. I understand that your time is precious, so um, arranging these kind of things, looking for a suitable partner, um, you necessarily do not have the time when you're ruling over a kingdom, making sure that you're doing everything that you can. So, um, I do have an idea for you. Um, there is a tradition uh, that some of our uh, single bachelor and bachelors try. Um, it is called a speed dating system. And uh, we would be willing to let you participate in this speed dating. Um, so that the individuals that you would be meeting at that point in time would choose uh, whether they would wish to be a partner uh, with you. But I'm afraid I cannot force an arrangement of any kind of my people. Please accept my humblest apologies. He's, he's describing you being able to meet possibly dozens of women. Yeah. Or one um, really uh, slow. She's slow. she's a not need dozens of women, Clurnt. Well, it kind of seems like you do. No grieving. She's a no grieving. It's kind of, seems, kind of seems like you're desperate for really any kind of relationship you can find, Cheezle, from the way you yeah. behave. So, no, it's dozens of women. It's every chief has a chieftain. Right, right. But you gotta get it. a chieftain. It's whatever. It's, 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 you know, it's tough. Uh, the king so will. The king will will interrupt uh, you at that point in time. He will stand up and sort of walk over around the circle and he goes uh chieftain may i approach you may approach uh your majesty mm, thank you chieftain and he'll kind of like walk over and lean down the table and he'll look down at you and he says look chieftain jeez i understand that the uh dating world is indeed a a, uh, a bit of a, a tricky adventure in itself. I, my too, lost my wife ten years ago, and I, it hurts me every day. Sometimes being alone in a, a massive bed, it, it brings tears to my eyes. And, and he looks around a little bit, and he looks over to you and said, and I've tried dating, and well, I've tried to rush into relationships as well, and they just don't seem to work out. I, I built history with my wife, and having her fall is the greatest pain I've ever experienced. From one ruler to another, uh, chieftain, uh, please, don't try to rush these things. Love will come to you. You will find something. Just give it time. And for now, uh, if you wish, and he'll extend a hand, you can consider me a friend so that you don't have to feel alone. I need more friends. Diesel like looks at the group and then looks at the king and is like, Are you hitting on me? Oh my the, God. the king blinks over and says, No. <laughs> no, I 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> the king love of the cheese <laughs> When he said speed dating, he didn't mean it'd be happening very quickly. He meant that. No, 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 I, no, Mado, this, this might be, this might be good. Oh. <laughs> oh I, I... no, your Majesty, you love the cheese uh, as a friend and ally, yes, I suppose I would say that I love Cheezel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like a ki- like a kissing a kissing ally. He blinks a little bit and goes, "I don't understand. Is is that goblin tradition uh, to kiss to ensure uh, a peaceful not, transition?" Uh, sure. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, he's what friends of tradition. Oh, uh, his number. That's yes. I uh, must kiss everyone in Humi Kiss. Uh, you know, Goblin oh, Chief no. must kiss all oh, Humis. No. <laughs> oh, I well, I I I don't think I could have you kiss everyone in the kingdom. I mean, no, uh, but make a good attempt. Yes. It's about uh, the effort, you know? It's about, it's about the effort. Yeah, his heart's in the wrong, the right place. He thinks to himself <laughs> a little bit and says, I, I don't think we would be able to accomplish that feat to have you kiss everyone in the kingdom. I do, this seems a bit unorthodox. I am uh, a representative of all the people within the kingdom of oh Brisbane. My <laughs> oh my Maybe God. if you were to kiss me, Perhaps that would count as kissing all the humans within the kingdom. Uh, would that be sufficient? I want to ensure peace remains amongst our people. Careful, this is when I got pushed into the hole. There's no hole, Qua. It's just the hell There's only one me. hole, and it's his mouth, Qua. <laughs> Diesel gets up on the table and, like, lunges at the mouth of the king for maximum smooching. Oh! And at that point, you just grab onto the head. It just like, is it just, is it one kiss? Is it a long kiss? I mean, what what, what kind it of is, kiss are we looking at? It is full tongue. We are, <laughs> it is tongue oh, and yeah. mouth. I don't need but to he's, it is, he's an experienced, sloppy. right? So, it is I'll be sloppy. back when this mutt is over. Uh, at this time, a, uh, a very, sl- uh, time seems to stop at this moment <laughs> as you all witness in complete horror Cheezel and the king smooching. The king, of course, allowing it to happen as Cheezel goes all in. It feels like hours have passed, but the time has only been 10 seconds before Cheezel. <laughs> that was a long time. time. A long it time. does, it is. At that point, Cheezel ends the smooch, hopping off the king and returning back. Someone said it's like the Space Jam Bugs Bunny kiss. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, yeah. <sighs> Cheezo looks at his friends and is like, the first of many kisses to come. Clurt looks like he wants to die. Mm -hmm. Uh, The king at that point uh, will nod and say, "Uh, yes, I suppose we, if you do desire, we can establish an annual tradition, uh, the the, the kiss of peace. Okay, <laughs> can I insight check the king to see if he liked it? Yeah, can we Is all do a collective insight check? It. Oh, he please, uh, please insight check. Because he brought up that annual he, tradition. Wait, I need to roll my important still. Uh, the 13, uh, Pikel, I will tell you at this point, no, the king is not into this whatsoever. Uh, I got a 21. The king is not into this whatsoever. <laughs> he is just trying, he is actually very confused by what Cheezel is stating, assuming it is some kind of goblin tradition that these be, these kisses are made as an arrangement of deals. Assuming that maybe <laughs> various kingdoms of, of people at this point in time, um, excuse me, uh, assuming that, that the, um, that they're that the kingdoms and the tribes are small enough that maybe the chieftain does like kiss everyone individually but since it's a massive kingdom he's trying to find some sort of middle ground at this point in time. right well right. what's important is that you roll low jesse so you don't know any yeah. of that shit. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah i don't have a clue part. yeah uh however chisel will stipulate that uh we will not conclude this meeting until uh i am wed so we will not be united until i'm wed <laughs> oh my god so he better find someone uh, well, at that point, then, if that is what you stipulate, uh, the king will simply say, uh, as I have mentioned before, arranged uh, arranged marriages is something that our kingdom does not sufficiently do. If we cannot find peace this day, perhaps we should negotiate at a future time. 
But unfortunately, like, I have I have no one to wed for you because we do not do arranged marriages. Jesus, we can find you a goblin. Any or anyone else. This is, this is it's goblin, honestly wild goblin. that this is the stance you're, you're making here. Learn. Let me. I want to like you know do like a thing where I turn to uh, uh, learn. Cheese, I learned much from humies in time when you tried to resurrect the body. Ah, uh, Cheese, I'll talk to humies. Claude, you know what taxis? Yeah, I do, Cheese. They take your money, Claude. Mato, they well, take I mean, your there's money. Pl- there's too. plenty of ways to dodge taxis. Miguel, Somebody Miguel they me. take your money too. They're stealing? They take your money. That's stealing. That that is stealing. Listen, listen. Nobody as would far as I'm money. concerned, there's about there's about eight thousand different ways to dodge those. And the cheese rule, all gobbies is free, not taxi. How do you? I'm get paid? I'm confused where you're going. These are no one pay. Cheese are one with the world. Oh. What? Hey. Good. And for my new system, gobbyism. No problems, oh, no thanks. Oh my God. I don't know if you should let this happen. I che- listen, Cheezel, Cheezel, Cheezel. How about this? How about this? Instead of whatever this insane thing is that you're going off on right now, how about instead, I will, I will help you on. I can't believe I'm saying this on my own time. Can't believe I said that. To find someone that may want to uh, uh, marry you. I'm sure I can figure out something, but I'm telling you right now, communism is going to implode within about 10 to 30 years. <laughs> but I will long dead before then, so no care. Jesus, we don't know for a mortal, Jesus. <laughs> we might just go, we might remember everything next time, Jesus. We don't know. You know, Jesus, it's wise men that plant trees for seeds that they, something about shit. Hey, point is, Jesus. Right? Wise men plant trees. That's it, that's the one. Qua knows it. Point is, Jesus, your future, your legacy is what remains after you die. You want a good legacy, right? Every good chieftain has a good legacy. Oh, that, yes, oh, yeah. Cheezel, like, looks at his legs. He's like, oh, they big, strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big, strong legacy, that's right. Oh, many legs. It's important to remember, yeah. Cheezel, as well, that oh, we've only got about half of his star, maybe less actually following you. If, uh, if we don't got Brisbane cool with us, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to actually do anything as chieftain. But if we, if we make an alliance with the big Yumi, then Yumi control Gobby, no? They don't control us, all right? An alliance is a bunch of bullshit and you can double cross it whenever you want once we got our stuff, all right, Chisel? That's the thing about alliances. Oh, you know, the best alliance is a mutual debt, you know? Yes, if you it's, about owing, it's about each other owing so much That's that they can't right. double cross. Oh, and so I pay they, him for do this, wife? We don't owe them anything. Oh, you could pay for a wife, Jesus. Oh, you, you can. Oh, you can. Well, if he hadn't given away all of our money. King up to you during this discussion. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm just letting you guys talk amongst yourselves. I mean, I pretty it, much. I'm just yeah. imagining he's sitting there and just like, kicking no, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, Chisel, right now, you have no money at all. And the problem is, that means, unfortunately, for all of us, goblins kind of operate on that. All right. And you gave it all away. All right. So, uh, if we figure out this stuff with Brisbane, whether you want that gob. Gobunism thing to happen or not. We need some sort of economic stability to make that even work. Uh, Cheezel turns to the king and asks, What you get out of Gobi Alliance? Well, he, he will say to himself, um, there are parts of lands and things that goblins are able to produce um, that humans do not have. More importantly, it seems that you have brought uh, in techniques and traditions that may actually earn an additional flow of revenue and money that will assist in Brisbane's uh, further growth. But more importantly, the regions of Northern and Southern Ishtar should be unified as one so that we can both grow together and prosper together. What you want?
one from Gobby Lands. And he mentions, he'll mention at that point in time and said, uh, many people have fallen in Gobby Lands uh, to ensure that we discover those that may have fallen and died to give peace and closure to the families themselves. There's nothing in particular that we want with Gobby Lands, but we may wish to open trade routes, open roads, allow for safe travel between the northern and southern regions of Ishtar. Well, we wish to unify the continent once and for all. I want a circus. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? <laughs> oh I want God. a circus. We already established your circus thing, all right? I was asleep. I know. I want Took it. Took care of it. You just do that now, Skags, eh? You just kind of fall asleep on the spot? Yeah, it might be a brain damage. He's basically grandpa it's number two. It's definitely the brain damage. Yeah. Maybe we just kill Skagzag and just let him come out of the mud and just fix it once and for all. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. He's, I don't know. He's 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 Skagzag. Push him under the mud. I mean, uh, he's beloved to us. He's like are they the, giving me like the, the circus? One. They're giving you the goddamn circus. Yeah, but is it good or is it like it's the one we used to It's gonna be amazing. Uh, just to Dang reiterate, because I know you were, tomorrow. I know you were AFK, Crandor. Um, the king said, uh, and I didn't realize you were AFK during this time, uh, talking of a uh, of a career circus or a job fair to help <laughs> uh, bring in employees, and that perhaps you would be the uh, the the ringleader of that. Which Clint at no point uh, yeah. really con condoned to. He just kind of let it roll. Clarence said he needs jobs. The king was like, that's great. We'll combine your circus idea with our need for jobs and make a job fair. And then which, this Shagzak guy could nah, run it, which no, is no, not- no, That no, feels no. like both of their personal hells, to be honest. Because yeah, that, yeah, no, 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 no. I was, I was so expecting cool you to come thing. back in at some point. All right, Shagzak, <laughs> uh, you're, free to, you're free to role play what you'd like for this, for this circus then. If you're just saying, I would like a circus, the king at that point would state, uh, excuse me? Yeah, I want a big circus. Wild magic. How many? Okay. How much magic do you got here? I, he looks around a bit and says, "Do you need like tents or attractions or something like that?" Yeah, I need as much as I can get, and no humans. How many non-humans you got? Oh, I mean, we are a kingdom primarily populated with humans. I'm afraid. Hey, he, he didn't mean no humans, right, Skag? You meant low humans, less. What about if I perform wild magic on the humans and we see what happens? Oh, I don't think I could agree to that, but I suppose if we can come to some sort of peaceful arrangement, uh, he'll look around at this point in time. Perhaps you can keep the tents up on this land. Uh, and humans can't come in. Sure, he'll say, we'll leave the tents up for you and this could be your uh, circus. And I want two ox. Two you, ox and a carriage. I, I think that could be a range. You'll look over at the senators. The senators will also nod at this point in time. And wild magics. How many you got? You didn't say before. I, I don't know exactly what you mean by these wild magics. You got How any many wizards? wizards? just blow up? Um, th like wizards, like spellcraft uh, casters? Or, yes. Yeah, except but, when they uh, do yeah. sometimes like really they leave wizards. Yeah, I mean, we've yeah. got we've got a couple of wizards that can uh, cast some destructive spells. Or what do you? Yeah, but how for? jacked are they? Are they are they like ripped? Do they lift? Uh, we could. It looks around. The senators confused. I mean, we could put out a request for those. I suppose. Someone that's physically fit. Uh, what would you need them for? For your circus? Yeah, perform it now. All right. All right. I need. All right. The humans are allowed to watch. But I need non-humans to perform. All right. I suppose we could keep a lookout for that. I don't know that off the top of my head. Ogres. You got ogres. Uh, we do not you have, have ogres. ogres. Exactly. We, we don't have, have ogres. ogres, though. No, we have I. So I, many ogres. Guys. We have. They're, so they're many. all over the place outside. Gag, gag. Uh, can I bring in ogres? You are the you can you can definitely bring in ogres. I can answer that for you. I mean, it's it would be your circus. You'd be free to bring in whoever you wish. All right, I'm good. He will not at that point go. All right then. Learned. Yeah. Should we tell him about the mud? No, God no. They want he want know about all the humies, but humies. Humans, no, they are no more. Listen, Cheezle. 
I've seen how I've seen how their whole deal works, and I'm gonna tell you one thing. This whole alliance falls apart within five to ten years, and then I'm going to assume uh, some horrible accident happens and most of these people end up dead. But we can at least make and break with whatever we get out of this deal right now before everything goes south. But if we just take the north, then we control it all. Yeah, but then you gotta think about what's after that. You know, Cheezo, that's the thing. Right well, now, what's north of that? What is north of that? Clerk pulls out his map. <laughs> <laughs> north of that is ocean. <laughs> At that north point, of that's the ocean. great journey. Chisel. But I mean, like, what else is attached to Brisbane, like, border wise? <laughs> yeah, I what is. Hold my breath for I mean, so, it's so, Bri oh. so Brisbane is essentially controls. Uh, most of the north at that point in time. There's uh, various like forests of orcs uh, that are still there. That's not necessarily under Brisbane control. It's kind of wild out lands. Um, Brisbane doesn't control all of the north, just most of it. Um, a lot of Brisbane's trade is typically like port towns that have been built along the coast because Brisbane uh, back in history used to be a maritime kingdom. And then they started to move more inward and inland. Now, that's a good looking at this map that clarent has out what's south of goblin territory then i mean south I mean, again it's ocean so i mean pretty much all of all of the south is just these these swampy muddy areas that goblins inhabit except for like the oh. south south western section um which is still not muddied area but was affected by the day that is where the old academy is located so is it just an island it's a continent. It's yeah, a but, continent yeah. that we've discovered, but I presume that we haven't discovered much of the rest of beyond the horizon. Exactly. Necessarily. Yeah, yeah I mean, because so pretty much at this point in time, um, the southern section of of the Ishtar region is essentially swamps and mud, and and because which happened a long time ago, as you've witnessed from your, you know, what has happened with your village after the after uh, the day incident that sort of spread and turned the majority of the area into goblins. So Ishtar itself has been completely splintered where half of it is just mud and swampland over in the southern region. But this is like a huge, I thought this was like a peninsula. I didn't realize we were a giant continent. Yes. We, we are a significant part of land. And that's why like my logic has been like, you don't have anywhere near the military force to actually wipe out. I, mean, I thought we were like a little ass corner. I didn't yeah. realize we were a giant thing. Well, we yes. are we are the closest part to them, but there's a bunch of our deal that we could go for. Yeah, so you know the, I mean. so north northern Ishtar, that's where the majority of Brisbane rules essentially, and then the southern Ishtar, this is all a continent. Southern Ishtar is swamps and muddy land and, and that's where goblins come from yep so basically Cheezel here's the thing all right if you start throwing shit around with this guy now you're gonna be at a disadvantage you know what I mean it's not that we don't got Cheezel never at disadvantage okay but you know how there's like one of you yeah so Cheezel like, what what are you I ultimately doing at this point because all the diplomatic points have been there you know i kissed this man and i couldn't tell if he enjoyed it and so i don't know that i trust him he enjoyed it you're the chieftain so Claire you also you got ultimate... five insights so he would tell you that he enjoyed it so yeah i mean but ultimately the question that remains uh because i feel like we're kind of looping around at this point in time what does chieftain cheesel do in the end uh I mean, I guess whatever is right for my people, but I don't know that I enjoy the North. I feel like they're up to, you know, the entire time we've been playing, they have all just been like, hey, can we like come check out Goblin Lands? Mm -hmm. Boy, it would be great if we could hang out with the Goblin. Like, why do the humans want to hang out with the Goblins so much? Why, why it's don't suspicious. we instead make some stipulations to be like, hey, trade routes is cool. Like small limited road border. like infrastructure is cool, but we want to maintain border between Yeah. Our it has to be countries. checks. This doesn't we don't want an open border deal with you. We want good relations and like trade routes. You know, like the basic thing you do when you play Civ and you meet a new country. Exactly. This is like early uh, negotiations, you know? Yeah, I will I will propose a a border crossing and a main thoroughfare by which trade routes can be established. You say this all verbatim like that? 
Oh god. Yeah, but you know, Cause I love the idea that I love Cheezle just all of a sudden <laughs> saying the most Suddenly. eloquent. Yeah, but you know, in cheesy, cheesy speak, which is just like, <laughs> you make a big wall across the, the human gap and then big road with which oxen move. Uh, he looks around and says, uh, so you would like a, a secure border? We want an established border. We want trade routes, but we want full autonomy. This isn't going to be some y combined country deal, all right? Stop. Um, he, the king would look around and, and nod and say, of course, this was only meant for diplomatic relationships so that we can become allies. Uh, we have no interest in any of your land. Well, oh, uh, that sounds... Clerk's got an insight on a 16 portent to bring it up to an 18 and, yeah. like, squint that guy. On yeah. That one. Yeah. So as you kind of, like, squint at that point in time, yeah, it's true. I mean, right now, that part of it, that part of that is just swamps and mud there really isn't anything that the king could uh do at that you know they, there's nothing that really brisbane can do with a a swamp land that's filled with goblins currently at this Jesus, point. they don't they don't want anything they don't want any of our stuff i think that, i think they really just want to be friends not he he honest i think he's being honest and he kissed you I mean, that sounds, that's pretty good. Whoa, 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 he, I he kissed him. No, no, he I don't he, kiss him. Him. he was in play. Oh, no, yeah. I, I kiss him. I, I smooch him. You don't smooch me. That's weird. Don't do that. What do you mean? What's wrong? I'm powerful. I'm powerful. Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you scared of being smooched? Like having someone initiate smooching on you, Jesus? Is that what? No, I just been chiefed and been chiefed and he does smooch on, not the smoochy. Jesus, it's okay I to be mean. vulnerable sometimes. Sometimes, no, you no, no sometimes, it's, sometimes you want to be little spooky. Sometimes you want to be invulnerable. Cheese don't have many hit point. So what are you, Cheese? Huh? It's not strong. Armor class very high. He's got a high armor class. Uh, yeah. It's true. What, what it's is true. An armor class anyway. Let's break that down right now. If what armor is class that? is one of your school self jigs. Right, right. Did you hey. notice? I don't want to do Jizzle, it. Right Jizzle. Jizzle. He definitely kissed back, okay? He and he back. established the whole annual thing, which I think means yearly. So he wants more. He wants more. He liked okay. what he had. You big, big majesty king? Uh, yes. If you be honest with us, cheese will be honest with you. Oh, of course. We have nothing to gain from deception. You not get Humi's back. He looks around. He goes, excuse me. Uh, we know this, right? We are aware that we were humans, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All humans turn to Gabi in Ishtar. Everyone stands up at that point in time. And the king looks forward and goes, excuse me. In the mud, i become Gabi. Oh, here we go. Im the the majesty. Mm. How about honest. we all sit down? Jesus is mm. honest with the majesty. I you will... honest? She's are honest. I, I will retell the tale. All right. Before we all start standing up. You, you oh, say oh, honestly. She's be honest. It's right. good ally. The, the king holds out his hand and kind of issues everyone to sit down at that point. The king sits down as well and kind of just takes in a deep breath and motions you to continue. You're aware that this land is cursed, right? We've heard some rumors in our previous Archmagister. He says with disdain because of who it was, uh, seemed particularly interested in the Ishtar Highlands. Yeah, well, of course he was interested. He killed us uh, to do it. Excuse me? What's the name of the town, Brett, that we're from? Uh, oh boy, let me actually pull that out. That's a good, uh, good name. That's a good question. And ba -ba 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 -ba, taking a look at here. This feels like he wants to be a millionaire when the music turns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. Oh. like, oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, it's God serious. You just basically said that, you know, humans <laughs> are turning to goblins. They're like, the um, fuck? Excuse Quan's me? falling asleep during this meeting while standing guard. <laughs> it's a good, good ambience, his little snores. Yeah. Uh, what, is it Feynman? 
Yeah, I don't think we ever covered it in. So there was never a, a name issued. Is that correct? We, there was never a name issued between us, but obviously we as characters would know the name of our own. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure I'm not gonna like give you a name and then. Be, no, we never, we never had yeah. one said in story. I All right. Uh, uh, okay. So the uh, name is gonna be Fiam. Fiam is the name of the okay. village. You know the village uh, Fiam on the border of Brisbane. Uh, we do. We are uh, aware of this. Yeah, we're uh, we're those humans. And he look over and said, "Some great tragedy took place in Fiam." We assumed uh, the swamps had moved out forward there. Mm -hmm. The Archmagister at the time investigated as some sort of sickening plague. We assumed it was something that the goblins were immune to. Well, no, he kind of he kind of did it. He kind of did the thing on that one. Our previous Magister? Magister Gloria? Yeah. It's true. It's yeah, true. It is. We were all there. We all remember. We but this that one was, got stabbed by that, it while happened, they were there. That, that was over 50 years ago, though. Yeah. Right? That checks out. Checks out. He sits down. He just said, and he'll just say at this point, he said the Archmagister has been very busy over the past 50 years. Uh, you said it's a he, though. We remember our Archmagister as a she. So you're saying that our Archmagister was in disguise. They were disguised. I mean, magic. You know the deal. Yeah. Do you know who this individual was? Joined by that went by the name of Valiansworth. The king will, at that point, just scowl. At this point, um, and will say Valiansworth. We had actually banished Valiansworth from our lands because of hmm, magical experimentation he conducted within what is now known as the old academy, that is through your your goblin lands. What you're telling me is Valiansworth was our Archmagister as well. Yep, and also pretty the much right under your nose on that one. He, yeah. He is at this point rubbing his temples and then just looks forward again. So you were all humans from Fia. Yes. Yep. Yes, we were. Yep. No, no. Yeah, yeah, not him. Points at Qua. Yeah, he he's an intern. He wasn't he wasn't there. Yeah, he wasn't it wasn't he's around. He's grandpa intern. And he will Yeah, you just kinda of the king has a sour face and just mentions to himself and says, We <sighs> We want to ensure that our relations remain civil and diplomatic. The land is yours, as has been stated before. Once upon a time, this did belong to Brisbane until the plague spread through and we lost a section of that land. We would be curious to investigate it if you would ever allow us onto your borders to do so. There's not, there's not much to investigate anymore, really. So you're just saying that you that humans trend, turned into goblins, and that is where the goblin race, what, came from on your lands? The land itself, can Clark just sort of like repeat the concept of like yeah, yeah, yeah. Gay yeah, magic in its like entirety yeah. and yeah, like the whole idea of reincarnation without giving them a specific landmark of like yeah, the yeah, stronghold yeah. as the source, the direct Yeah, absolutely, source absolutely. Point. Because I sort of just want to retell that without being like. So you're telling, you're, but you're telling. Where lives is exactly where you can do it. Yeah. So so you're telling the exact thing without giving like the strategic location. I want to basically give them the concept that this whole no. area has that effect it's upon fucked. it. Yeah. But yeah, to basically be like, you don't want to be here. It's fucked. We've already confirmed it multiple times. There's no real need to send more wizards and mages down here for nothing. Yeah. At that point, the king just leans back at that point in time and just is looking up into the air and just says your lands are dangerous for us I'm I'm so sorry that we're finding this out now that that would mean once upon a time that you were each of you citizens of Brisbane and as 
well, at not at the time, but on behalf of my father and his father before him, I, I apologize uh, for this uh, wholeheartedly. We were not aware and we had come to a different conclusion. We didn't realize this was, this is what happened to you, what happened to your fate. <sighs> yeah, well, I mean, how could you? It was uh, that guy who did a good job of covering it up. Yeah. And I mean, it's not the end of the world. I mean, we like how we are. Yeah, I mean, I am, I am, we're all incredibly powerful. We're flourishing. Oh, right. Okay. I like I, that. I would that... argue that my life is better now than it was as a. Uh... <laughs> I like that. That's always Clerk's like go-to. Is like, well, I am incredibly powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I do have twenty-four charisma. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So the king will <laughs> nod, um, but will also state, if we are to establish trade routes, it's very important and paramount that the people that trade with you are extremely careful at this. No offense to, to you all, and I'm very happy that you have found peace with your forms. But there may be merchants and traders who do not wish to transform into a into a goblin to have a kill me, afterlife. King. Uh, yes, chieftain. Uh, chieftain Chisel propose that gobbies be allowed to protect humies from. Scary Southern Ishgard. Ishgard? That's right. That's right. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, Chief, did you get to name it whatever you want, Jesus? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, 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 don't stress. <laughs> um, but uh, we, I be warden of the starry lowland and swamp and protect area so humies not turn into gobbies, and then you pay us for the service. He, uh... A tear starts falling from Clarence's eye <laughs> at the idea that Chisel just made his first full-on deal with someone without him having to back him up on it. Um, the king would think to himself, and at this point he's, he will say, um, what we call this is a, is a tariff that would be issued, essentially anything that would be traded um, we would pay a tariff to your people at this point in time. Uh, perhaps anything we trade between our people, between the la to, between your lands and our lands, would also include a, a tariff that we would pay to you for your protections of our of our merchants uh, upon your lands. Would this be sufficient for you? Yes, I agree. Also, Jesus propose. And he looks at his friends. Yeah. He's like, Motor school, train people to protect against terrible curse of gobbies, no tax. Clerk, clerk operate Kmart on trade route for extra uh, precautions for humans, no tax. Pigel, use church to Create goodwill between Gobby and human. Allow for Gobby and human travel between. No thanks. The chieftain will sit and will say, so instead of a tariff, you wish me to waive the taxes to ensure that our people are protected. He's like the son I never had. And yes, your majesty. The king is silent for a moment as he begins to think. And he looks over to you and says, well, for the revelations that have been made this day upon the, the curse that is upon the Southern Ishtar region, our people will require extra protection. This is a sufficient exchange. We will waive the taxes support what the, the uh, operations that you wish to have within the Northern Ishtar and Brisbane regions in exchange for that. You will provide protection for our traders and those that seek trade uh, with your people in the southern region. This and is acceptable. I, I can set up the school so that we, we can train generation after generation to protect humans from the swamp. It's a good deal. Plus, speed dating, I bring mushroom tea for everyone. 
honestly, he was he was really doing it until right at the end there, where he kind of pumped the ball for a second. Uh, <laughs> did somebody so say crying. mushroom? <laughs> the king at this point will nod uh, before he will state, um, as he stands back up, he will say, "We are in agreement." Then, everyone stands up at that point in time, and uh, he will offer a hand. Um, kind of meeting the center of the area over to the chieftain. The shake. Yeah, Chisel hops up on the table and uh, reaches his hand out as well. At that point, uh, they will grasp on to their hands with a, with a firm handshake at that point in time. The king uh, with a, a smile on his face uh, over to the gobby peoples in the hopes that this may be the first positive step uh, towards goblin and human uh, relationships. Um, at, also, at the at, at the end of it, uh, the king will say, "Oh yes." As for the other part of the deal, uh, he will point to Skagzag uh, and point <laughs> have Skagzag go outside and says, uh, uh, "Your other end of the bargain." Uh, we have a criminal yeah. we're about to execute out there. You said you wanted to witness. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the execution. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> dude. Wait, what? Fuck. What, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about? Skagzag will walk out at that point in time, literally watching a human get shot with a barrage of crossbow bolts, uh, a murderer who has been upon the land of <laughs> Brisbane. Uh <laughs> Looking out the fucking clock <laughs> of the tent, trying to see what the hell's happening. <laughs> Skagzag, do you have a, like a wide smile on your face at this point in time? Uh, no doubter. Are yeah, you gonna absolutely. use that 100%. body? <laughs> I also love that they're using the crossbow. Adds a little extra joy. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so with that, uh, peace has been made uh, with uh, the people and the the king at that point in time. Uh, as you all return back to your, uh, your goblin lands, uh, just joint and successful with all that you've accomplished at this point in time. Um, so, after your negotiations are in place, a few months will pass as the beginnings of all that you wish to request it to be built upon the lands of, Br of the kingdoms of Brisbane, um, happen uh you'll have messengers that will reach out to you to let you know and keep you uh updated into the progress of everything that's going on uh and uh yeah uh, as a celebration of these new happy times that are to come uh one second i thought i copied everyone and i did not uh you all are uh invited uh to a celebration that is near the uh the borders of uh of the southern and northern region as the circus oh. has come to town <laughs> at this point in time oh you'll have my son <laughs> Qua, Qua will of course bring oswood as you'll look around uh to the circus a familiar land that you have been to at some a, a point in time it really does feel like the land of the goblins this sort of repeats itself <laughs> happy will walk up to you arms extended out and he'll just yeah he'll just celebrate and he'll be like i can't believe we're all alive yeah you know that is that, that is a good point i actually cannot believe every single one of us no one died yet yeah, yeah, around that's kinda, true, yeah. Are you, as if it couldn't be possible. Are you staring at like happy at that point in time. <laughs> like <laughs> he's always I looking can't... around over his shoulder like at any moment Skag Zag could just snap like a twig and start <laughs> again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's honestly baffling nothing bad happened during the meeting. Yeah, happy happy will look over and said, y you know, I I some of these humans have already come over here. Uh they got gold? And they pay for things. I can't they, believe this, he says. They have Solden. money. These yeah. Have, they, they have money, which is something we don't have. And you know what the funny part about that is? Is like, I'll ask them for the money, and then they'll just they'll just give it. They'll just they don't give stab it to us. You. They yeah. don't just immediately stab you out of their bag. I'm getting, I'm getting my money right now, and they stab you. I tell you what. I tell you what. Business is good at this point. Uh, <laughs> model, as you walk up to the uh, warg salesman, uh, you'll see a couple of the puppy wargs kind of like run over uh, oh. to Pikel at this point with the giant oh with gosh. your warg at that point. 
as they're all just circling and walking at that point. The warg salesman the will look over to model, yeah, <laughs> and go, mm. uh, two teeth, holds out his hand. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> mm. you want Don't my worry, it's on me. And I reach into my bag of holding and I pull out two human teeth. Oh, oh. <laughs> the, the warg salesman. You open your bag of holding, you see several floating corpses inside from people you've gathered, and teeth like <laughs> floating around, and he hand it over, and the warg salesman will just like, okay, hey, thank you. And he just takes the teeth. And he just no, has this wide, you. wide hey, smile on. on his face. You really uh, are the gift that just keeps on giving. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Happy will kind of like put his arm around Cheezel at that point in time. Uh, give uh, give Clurnt a hearty pat on his back. And then look over at Skagzag. So Skagzag, did you get everything you ever wanted? Uh, I mean, I guess. He tilts his head. He's like, oh, yeah? Uh, what'd you wish for? Uh, well, wait, what did I wish for? Yeah, in the, in the negotiation, what did you, <laughs> what did like you want G. in the end? What a oh. dream damage is getting worse, Heavy. <laughs> He's barely with us anymore. Yeah, what did you wish for? What do you uh, wish for in general? I've been thinking about well, taking him out back. <laughs> I just wanted a yeah, this big you circus, I mean? you know, bigger circus than this. You know, when we first started, I know you told me to go find some people that looked like suckers and recruit them so we could pay them nothing and have them perform. And I found these people. But, you know what? They turned out to be smarter than that. Oh, that's you so really sweet. That? You really mean that, Skag Tank? Yeah. You really mean I, that? Yeah. Um, so now, you know, I got, I got bigger dreams, aspirations, you know, we got the bigger circus and now I really got to find some people that uh, will do stuff for free so that I can keep all the money. As Skagzak says that, his wild magic effect goes off. Oh, yes. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why did as I you will, so close to him? As you <laughs> then will see Skag turn into a colorful large pile of, of of just a fog at this point in time <laughs> that's gonna be a oh my god fight. he's dead <laughs> like oh, god. He's god. Oh, he's god. God. as skagzag uh himself will be teleported into a location of his design where he will get his wish that giant circus in the sky the fog will then spread. Always remember me. <laughs> as, as you, as you will see a Mufasa-like Skagzag face show up within the fog. Hold your breath. <laughs> as you will hear echoed off at that point in time from Skagzag. Always remember me. What the hell is happening? <laughs> I'll see anything. <laughs> As Skagzag vanishes into the sky, a cloud of his face will be shown. I'll be one. <laughs> As Skagzag becomes the fog, the wild magic he's always wanted to become. Take it away into another plane of existence. It's like he's that, one with the force now. It is. Uh, Skagzag becomes <laughs> a, a, a ghost Sk appears next Skagzag <laughs> becomes a force ghost at that point. <laughs> <laughs> he dies. He's so unhelpful. <laughs> his, wild, uh, responded. his wild magic finally consumed him, and his under went off at that point, as he is now one wow. with the wild magic at this point. I bet you feel like an asshole, Happy, for what you just said. Yeah, you just, you just fucking, you just killed him. Ah, he has he cast that spell a lot. I mean, honestly, though, to be honest, he's been riddled with all sorts of horrible brain damage from that concussion. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, geez. So maybe this was maybe this was honestly for the best. Well, I guess uh, sure. I guess he passed peacefully. Uh, yeah, I mean, bless him. He, he vaporized it to dust. Yeah. You think, he, hmm. you think he's gonna come back though, like the other goblins, or you, you think know, that was kind of like the ultimate? Finale, kind of. Hey. Zack had a good idea. 
I'm gonna cast gaseous form. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh <laughs> leave. <laughs> and that, that... Can your zombie wait, can you cast it on your zombie? No. Oh, I don't think okay. so. <laughs> and at, so at that point you will see uh yeah, you'll uh you will see a qua turn into a oh, gaseous turn form. Into fog and go like south and then Oswood <laughs> would just Jog after. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> is he gone? I think he's gone. He's We're gonna have to pay him anything else now. I mean, he kind of just paid us back, to be honest. He, he covered the dog pups. Yeah, he did. It wasn't he's... so bad, that Qua. He was, he was all right. I would have even named him an actual goblin if he'd stuck around for one more minute. Yeah, like a couple of minutes max. Like a couple yeah. more minutes, Pickle. and he would have been an actual honorary goblin, but instead. He died merely an intern. Or he turned yeah. into a fart and flew away. Shame. Yeah, Did that's he? that's a shame. Hey, listen, since you guys are here, I want you to 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 meet some meet some goblins. I think they got some potential. And I think they'll be able to form my new circus. But I figured I'd ask my old circus to judge them properly. What do you say, we, huh? We, we too old for you now, Happy. What are we too good for you? He, he looks around. It's like, do you want to join my circus? <laughs> I'm just busy with you. Now. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, fuck that. No way. I'm kind of. No. Yeah, no, it, no, yeah, it sucks. It sucks. No. Something really bad. <laughs> I hate my life. Anyways, <laughs> and then at that point, <laughs> no. <laughs> um. So at at that point, you'll just kind of <laughs> you'll you'll kind of just see like this like like the camera like pan away from the circus itself as the goblin uh, circus continues its celebration peace with humans you'll hear the eh off in the distance of Skagzag become fog become force ghost cloud and I guess Qua following behind him with with uh, Qua's ambitions of potentially creating a, a, a new race of, of people from the plants and uh, yeah for a some unbelievable amount of time uh, there is a moment of reflection as you as goblins have started here within this circus continue to journey around the the madness of of goblin civilization and became the unlikely heroes that had saved the kingdom of brisbane not once or actually the, the world of io not once but twice the unlikely heroes the uh, and unsung heroes as well when everyone uh, underestimated you, uh, everyone didn't believe in you, you stepped forward, you took the charge, and you protected the people, even though they did not ask for it or um, expected it. You still stepped forward what, for yourselves. You are the unsung heroes, the, the, mis the, the, the misguided adventurers, but you've done so much for the world of Io. And you'll continue to do so much more in its future. For now, even though you are heroes among these lands, never forget where you came from as the goblins of Io. And so ends the campaign of goblins of Io. Thank you guys so much for hey. coming. Oh. Hell yeah! Did we get the good ending or the bad ending? Did we get? I was mean, that the bad ending? Because that got fogged. No, that had to be the good ending. I think ending. you had that, to have that more must conversations have been the good ending because Skagzag got his wish. No. Skagzag, yeah. You had to yes. increase your rep with them to really get the true ending. Oh, yeah, Skag, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Skagzag became wild magic. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely I, I truly it. hope that in the future in Phase 3, another wild mage can get Skagzagged and have to deal with he's, he could, maybe he's a warlock you know patron. what warlock Shit. patron of some you know what i you know what i'm meat. you know what i'm gonna do um i for uh for for skagzag for the memory of skagzag um i <laughs> i am going to transform the wild magic uh fog cloud uh or the you know the fog spell wild magic uh, will be shifted to something Skagzag related. I don't know what it is yet. I don't know what it's gonna be. But if Beautiful. that rolls, you're gonna have just a fragment of Skagzag appear, and that will It'll also be, be a robe. that'll that will also be like a wild magic effect at that point in time that may harm, that may may do well or harm you at that point in time. As Skagzag has literally become 
just a, a magic. He's become wild. It's like magic. having my statue outside of a stadium or something. Yeah, or maybe like a giant statue, a naked statue of Skags Egg appears. I, I might, I might. <laughs> just me in a robe. Honestly, I might just make a Skags Egg table for when that uh, fog cloud is rolled in. I think I might do. If there's any like crazy that. wild magicians in the future, I have to appear like you know a Jedi or something. Like a Jedi. <laughs> and Skags Egg, and, and Skags Egg, so and Skags Egg will also even say, "I'm a Jedi." And everyone's like, "I don't know what that means." <laughs> I'll be like You're breaking the force some shit. Yeah. I'll be like, mm, you will learn the wild magic. They ask for advice and you give none. You don't yeah. know the spells. Exactly. It's like you're just exactly. casting fog again. You're like, mm, good fog you cast. So are you guys ready for the, uh, yeah, the final oh, fucking dude, fan art of, uh, oh. of goblins? Oh, I thought you were going to say about like, are you ready for the super final, extra super final, <laughs> final epilogue? And I'd be like, what? Fights. Next session. <laughs> yeah, like, are you ready for the final action? The kobolds, last one last time, yeah, one last yeah. ride. We need no. to revisit the kobolds though, yeah. Well. Well, I'm, so I'm sharing the screen for the fan art because we got to go ahead and give a, a peek to our buddy cops over here, Qua and uh, Skagzag. Take a look at oh, these that's lines, folks. Oh, that's so good. One yeah, time. Dire. Yeah. Dire. I love dire. Speed, but also speed. <laughs> We've also got some 3D. Oh, that's amazing. A 3D that's so good. bust of Pikel. Oh, so good. Whoa, that's so good. I love the hair. It's amazing. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. I think this person did so many of them. I think this person put in fucking shit ton of work this week. Yeah, look. Jeez, oh, yep. That's awesome. That's it's crazy. Incredible. Wow. That's really good. Yo, that's check very it. good. Check this out. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Oh. Not good at no, <laughs> I oh, love it. Oh, oh. It's like he's pulsating with like magma energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, never mind. I take everything oh, I said back. God, I, oh. It looks like he could blow up. Yeah, he did. I mean, really that's, that's, that looks He really incredible. did blow up at the end, huh? Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, he did. Oh, look at all they've blended the goddamn colors. Yeah, that's that looks so good. so good. Thank you so much. Distinct eyebrows. <laughs> the texture on the coat, too. What the hell? Yeah. Look at this lad. Oh my hell god. Yeah. Like oh my handsome god. Squidward kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Before, kind like, of. He, he's gonna have his wrinkles he and shit. He has the weird so. like smoothed out features. Yeah, buffed he, out. He, I would dare say Clark looks beautiful. <laughs> wow, I can't <laughs> believe Mango oh drew god. exactly what Skag oh, Zag became. Amazing. <laughs> uh, let's not our world. never forget. <laughs> Just jamming that arm back in. <laughs> 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 this is the scene where the argument was happening, and you're just looking at it like a uh, 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 quad in the background. All he's doing is trying to get that arm in. <laughs> <laughs> Someone made me as the DM. I want to feel upset for G Mart's character, but the fact that this is G Mart's doing this to his own character, I can't have a feeling about it. Net, net zero feelings. Thank you. Yeah, it's his decision. Thank you. Uh, this is where Skag's Egg was uh, eating that sandwich over there. <laughs> 50 points. That's, That's my final one. offer. <laughs> you, go down. you go down, I'm not helping you. I mean, that's exactly like, uh, what I uh... He never got hit. Squat. Yeah. Squat really did well in that boss The only fight. damage I yeah. took, I took on purpose. So if I went in with one HP, I could have done yeah, it. Yeah, you and I really went in brave at the very end. <laughs> Where's Skagzag? All right, this place has a gym. I just had to show that again. That's Classic, so good. yeah. It's good, it's good. The will of brawn and div is unrelenting. That, just that qual in the background, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bree, I don't know if you saw this, but Ellen. Oh my God, yeah, that's yeah, incredible. That's so good. Good send off for her. Mm -hmm. So good. Of course, I know you're here, Levin. You big fucking nerd. Where's my goddamn money? Did Where you get it? it? You got the money? You got, did I you have get no the money. Huh? Did you get paid? I have no. You, you got a check? You that's not the money. No comment. No comment. <laughs> I, I, have, I have genuinely no comment. On it. There we go. There's no way I'm going in. There's charisma saves. Clarent dives into the portal. <laughs> Accurate. Oh. Uh, so uh, during the final battle of Asmodeus, there was three bards just casting vicious mockery over and over. So all three <laughs> bards were just saying shit about Asmodeus <laughs> the entire time. Uh, vicious mockery. Uh, such a good spell. 
expectation. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Look at all the <laughs> looks like a sad snail. Reality. <laughs> so good. Holy shit. Yo, That's can we take? Great. Can we get a look at this boy? Check out this guy. Oh my Holy god! Shit. Is that the Wolverine? That's that's the yeah. that's the yeah Wolverine. Wolverine yeah. That's the Wargarine. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a uh, yo people who like brawn and then people who read like it, claw. This one I thought was I'm, read not, it, Brett. I'm not going to. You know what, Benji? I'm not going to let you bully me into reading it. Okay. All you right. Read the, all right. You're the reader. Go no. Ahead. No. You can't no. read that. It's all blurry. It's actually yeah. blurred. Like yeah. I wish. I thought it was yeah, just my bad it. eyes. You, you read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, look at this. That's so cute. That's oh. really cute. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh, nice little. I got, I got a little triangle. Nice little wholesome. <laughs> nice little wholesome <laughs> scent off. Uh, oh, also, never, never found Granny. Uh, <laughs> oh my never, God. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, we, 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. I love this. Something. Something. So much. It don't, it don't matter. <laughs> None of this matters. Holy don't matter. God. None of this <laughs> matters. This <laughs> matters. Look me in the eyes, Skag Zag. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I hate that sometimes when I look at Skagzag's head, Skagzag's head, I swear I just see the outline of his brain like he doesn't have a skull. <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, he right. whole time. clearly yeah. doesn't know the concussions. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's why I was so cute. easily concussed. The pickles covering The pickle jar ew, perfectly ew. placed. Yeah, that's amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> just beautiful, guys. Oh These God. are so good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so great. Gosh. Yo. Oh, oh that's so good. Like Skagzag's fucking face. He's <laughs> 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 peering into the fog in the sky. <laughs> oh my god. He Fine. lives in us. Yeah. <laughs> School model, you can't read. You don't need to read to be a teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, what would happen if your man went missing? <laughs> <laughs> I like doing that. It was fun. Oh my god. Oh, the bachelor. God, Cheezle. Oh, 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 he looks dapper in a suit, though. Adorable. I can't wait to be a different character who isn't. Dude, hard who would have thought that the first time she <laughs> yeah. smooch someone would have been the oh king? Oh my god, Jesse. Dang, yeah. I just love that. It's like, man, I can't wait to be a different character. <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> I love Cheezle, but that is, it's hard. <laughs> you, know, you established it pretty early and then you just had to keep it up. I feel bad for every single woman oh. who has been on every single show with me. Oh <laughs> no, that man oh, buddy. will not stop. <laughs> oh buddy. And you're just like, all you hear is Jesse in the background. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, that's okay. Cause we got this scene yeah! at the very least. Oh my God. The, the real so you deserved. The real oh, the romance. King's just like mm, okay okay yeah, just, I mean, he, he was in play dude you can do right he, yeah. he, I mean, he heated it up yo like oh, i mean shit. if someone was like yo what if cheesel hooked up with the king and i was like uh if that if i was like if that's the route cheesel I ends mean, up going that would be we'll have the history books in phase three you know to check yeah. that out be cool. Aww. Aww, oh cute oh my god. Oh, look at this scene. In the mud are become gobby. Look at that. Oh, that's good. <laughs> look at that oh, serious cinematic. face. Oh, it's so good. The gang. Oh. He was being honest with us. I felt it was necessary for uh -huh. good relations. I liked that. That was great. Yeah, it made uh, sense to me. Oh my god. Uh, Cheezle is the king of humies. In, in, in a perfect world. In a perfect <laughs> yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. I really thought we were just going to kill him and take the kingdom. <laughs> Clerk Corp. I mean, that's, yeah. Is that Kiba? Is yeah. that Calvin Klein? Yeah. It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh thing you're doing here. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh bit. Uh, someone, Yu -Oh bit. someone drew uh, Pikel smoking a fat pea Whoa! pickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, someone, for making the, the most accurate Pikel. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> like a I, I, monster. I, 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 Yo, how fucked, up, how fucked up would it be if that was it? Like, that was the final picture of all of, 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 of Io, of all of the yeah. It's not, it's, it's, it's not, because look at this adorableness, that name, Rito. I balanced it out for you, I balanced it out, I balanced it out for you guys. I balanced it out for you guys. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely, absolutely.
Oh no! Maybe the real world <laughs> magic was the friends we made along the way. The rest is fucked up, soul. God, look at this! Oh, oh my god! These oh, thank you so much. Adorable. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Always oh remember <laughs> what the hell is happening. <laughs> I can hear. Oh. That is so good. Oh. And I had to our group burst into fog at the end. <laughs> two of the members just got fog. It was he like it was like just out of nowhere. Two people just gone from the ending. Yeah, yeah fuck. Uh. <laughs> Cheezel Bean Big Brain, that's my boy. That's my son. Bink and Stink, probably. Right, I, got, I gotta ask, who are Bink and Stink? Don't worry about it. Oh, don't even ask. So, you're back in the orphanage. Don't orphan. worry your about sons? Well, one back of them got fucking the killed because he was a little bitch and couldn't handle a little bit of constructive criticism. The second one never spoke Man. to me again, which was the correct thing to do. Man, Man, that's, they, were, they were middle aged, like goblins. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that's yeah. wearing diapers that Clark adopted just. Just because? Uh, I mean, that that was when I knew exactly the direction Goblins was going. When I was like, and the reveal is Bink That's a is straight out Bink of is, Yakuza, man. Yeah, Bink is dead, and the paladin <laughs> blames Clarence for it. And Clarence like, who? What? Uh, whatever. And I was I like, know who that is? Yeah, I was like, all right, yep, that's uh, <laughs> this is the direction we're going. I see, I see now. I understand. Oh, haunting, haunting, oh, haunting, haunting, yes. haunting warlock. Jesus. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, fucking oh, fucking yeah. genie. Like, that's a warlock oh, genie yeah. patron. All right. Oh, yeah. He can grind your wishes, all right. <laughs> and Clarence fog based, man. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and our final image, I this was beautiful right here, is uh, from <laughs> Dire. Just, you know, cheap big belly pose. Tax Haven. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> All right. So that, that's it. That's the end of fan art. That is the that's it. That's the end of fan art for Goblins. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Yay, thank you, everyone. Thank you, uh, you guys. Yes. As per usual. You guys yes. have been absolutely wonderful. Thank you for playing off uh playing us off for phase two. This is this is it. I mean, I'm I like Jesus. It's it's done. A year and a half of campaigns. We're done. It's over. Great uh, job, Brett. Man. Great yeah. fucking job. Oh, Jack, can you God. open a big fucking hand to Brett for running all of this? Running Seriously? all of this. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. This Thank one. You. Thank you so much. I'll try and yeah. my legs. Thank you. Yeah, I got pushed to talk. So I, gotta, like, <laughs> I got pushed to talk, but I'm clapping. Just, Just pretend I'm chest. clapping right now. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Thank you this very is a much. Curse I'll be sending for yeah, right. this is this is it. Uh, but yeah, I uh, want to thank you guys. I also just want to thank all the players that played in any of the Phase Two campaigns. We we have built a we built a setting. I mean, this isn't this isn't just me building a setting. You guys have set in motion the actual setting of IO Phase Two, and to the point where Phase Three is going to be everything that we all have built together. Um, as DM, as players, and all of the campaigns, you all had a part in that. I mean, I could not foresee exactly where your story was going to go from session one and everything, everything from and the Cosmic Car arc, either. the day. That's it. But that's the thing is, like, in a way, you all wrote this. You all, I mean, there was no cheap big belly and, until Jesse tossed that, tossed that in. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like, you all had a part in the creation, the history, and the foundation of Bios. So phase three is going to be amazing uh, because of you guys and for everyone uh, that was in a phase two campaign. So thank you so much. I thank you guys very, very much. And I, uh, yeah, I look forward to DMing you guys in the future. So. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Hell fuck yeah. fucking yeah. Hell oh, fucking hell yeah, yeah, dude. Thank you again. So and thanks uh, for thank you. you. Goblin, man. It was your buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys have a good one. I'll see you around. Okay. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays, happy holidays, happy happy holidays to you guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye, guys. Happy holidays. 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 Happy It's over. It's done. It's done, chat. It's all over. God. It. Wow. I can't believe. I can't believe it. I can't. I. I can't believe it. <sighs> what, what a wild ride.
I promised you guys I would, for those that haven't heard it yet, um, a little a little taste of the music that we're going to have in, uh, in Phase 3. Some of you guys have already heard it, uh, but for those that haven't, I would like to give you the future. If I had some more art that wasn't going to be the biggest freaking spoilers in the world, I would absolutely show it to you, but I, I can't because it reveals too much. All I will tell you is phase three is going to be an extremely ambitious setting. I wanted to do more than your standard D and D fantasy setting. I wanted to make something. Um, so yeah, let me, uh, real quick. I'll play this while I show you guys off. Uh, Jordan Chin is the composer. Jordan Chin, uh, is the composer for monster train and is now writing music for, uh, phase three for IO phase three. So I was going to have its own, its own, uh, soundtrack, which is absolutely incredible. Absolutely awesome. So without further ado, enjoy everyone. So, um, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate y'all very much. Enjoy this peek into phase three. guys a little sneak peek a little feel a little vibe of what phase three is gonna be we've got a team of artists working uh right now getting everything ready for phase three the setting itself is just yeah it's gonna be something new something hopefully uh, out out of the ordinary I, I, something um something ambitious uh so i'm excited for that all with the foundation of phase two behind us i want to thank you guys so much I want to thank everyone who's gifting subs right now because, uh, yeah, that's all going in. This is it. The end of an era, as I like to say. The end of phase two. I'm, I'm sad to see it end and wrap up, but I'm excited for the future of IO. The future of phase three. And I'm looking forward to hoping that you guys will continue along with that. And that you'll enjoy the next stories that we are going to all write together. So let me go ahead and first of all, uh, let you know that if you would like to support the world of IO, we have a Patreon. Head over to our Patreon. Uh, you can 
it, there's different tiers. There's an MP3 tier, art tier. Uh, there's going to be a music tier for early release of music. Uh, the Game Master tier is going to include Game Master notes and systems that I'm working on for Phase 3, as well as full-on loops of songs that are created for IO that you can use for your own personal setting uh, that won't be released. The idea is it won't be released anywhere else uh, so that you can uh, just drop it in a VTT of your choice and then go to town. It'll loop. It'll. It's a. Yeah. It'll be a beautiful thing. So consider supporting the Patreon, because your support is what is allowing me to go all out and go ambitious. So uh, join our Discord in the meantime. I'm still gonna have plenty of Phase Three development streams. Um, yeah. So if you'd like to go ahead and keep in touch with everything that's happening over there, please um, head on over to the Discord. Uh, watch the streams, hit, a, hit the follow button if you haven't followed this, uh, this stream already. Uh, if this is your first time watching IO, man, you've come at the worst time. But head on over to, you know, you know what? I will change that around. If you enjoyed Goblins and you've been here for the entire end, I implore you to check out another campaign. YouTube.com is World of Bio. We, uh, everyone is passionate players with everything that they do at this point in time. And I just really, yeah, go ahead and, 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 and check that out at that point. Check out another campaign. Give it, give it a watch because all the players that have been a part of Phase 2 are amazing. The goblins are great. They're all absolutely wonderful, but there are a lot of other tremendous campaigns that are just as good as this campaign. And I think those players deserve that recognition as well. Um, I know a majority of you came here for goblins, but please, please consider looking at another campaign and give those players their love that they deserve because they are tremendous, tremendously talented people and individuals that have helped build IO to what it is today. We got Gerard in the audience. Watch Misdemeanor for that, that found family wholesomeness you will probably cry at the end of it. I, I'm just I'm just tossing it out there. If you want to cry, watch Misdemeanor from beginning to end. That's all I'm going to say about that. So uh, definitely go ahead and give that a check out. But plenty of other campaigns. And uh, and yeah, go ahead and, and, and give that a go. Go ahead and, and binge it all while we build phase three. Uh, the IO Direct will be happening uh, January 28th. Uh, so next month, we will be premiering the setting for phase three and everything and everything that we can show off to you at that point in time. It's going to get you so fucking hyped. It's going to get the players so fucking hyped. So you do not want to miss it. You want to be there when the direct goes live January 28th, the end of January, because after that in February, we'll be doing the session zeros for all the phase three campaigns. You do not want to miss it. I promise you that you do not want to miss it so uh like i said we'll be uh throughout the month i'll be working on phase three i'll be doing some phase three streams um we're going to be doing a phase three fundraiser at some point which is going to include a bunch of one-offs um uh, and things like that so you can contribute even further to the phase three development fund um i'm really hoping to put that to continue to expand in art and music as well as um hopefully get some programming done because we're moving to foundry foundry's got some beautiful modules and i think there's gonna i think there's a potential of custom modules built exclusively for io phase three that i want to get into we've already had a couple of programmers approach uh wanting to make some modules for io phase three and foundry so please um yeah consider consider supporting turn this thing into something extraordinary stupendous wonderful and finally finally um everyone who put dropped some subs in holy shit thank you so much i'm gonna take the opportunity to thank you right now um i also want to thank i'm gonna pause that there because i haven't had a chance to do this for a while for our big patreon support supporters thank you too and the list is huge now my god thank you so much baker staunch mads 5408 great sif robo man dylan mr bite uh alias kate lisa kiosk king 1236 wiry traveler conair on dvd eagle wolf purple slim lopar panda twitching pickle why not gemology and lamp struck 
uh, our big Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so, so much for that. And then finally, uh, a shout out uh, for everyone that subscribed and gifted subs today. You guys are tremendous. Uh, Executed Python, HTKC, thank you for the gifted sub. Great sip, thank you for gifting 10 subs. Roboman89, thank you for the five gifted subs. Vanderin, thank you for the five gifted subs. Executed Python for another gifted sub. Conair on DVD for the 20 gifted subs. Red Eye in Cell, thank you for the five gifted subs. Uh, Flint uh, Whitelock, thank you for the bits cheered. VA No Magician, thank you for the resub for 15 months. Disaster Nick, thank you for the 2,000 bits. Uh, Red Eye Inso, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Uh, Gallander One, thank you for the prime sub. Kite Rima, thank you for the tier one sub for seven months. WS Shade, thank you for the gifted sub. J Jam Jam, thank you for the prime sub. The Man 630, thank you for gifting out a sub. Kimchi VT, thank you for the seven month sub. Uh, Summer, thank you for the raid. Greatly appreciate that. The Man 630, thank you for the gifted sub. I sell cabbages, thank you for the five gifted subs. Crispy, uh, Chilps, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Pack Brun Zero, thank you for the prime sub. The Hung Hunter, thank you for 10 gifted subs. Cassie 071235, thank you for the tier one sub. Um, Alpaca Stud Muffin, thank you for the tier one sub for two months. Storm again in 2020, thank you for the prime sub. Mario87, thank you for the five gifted subs. Lewd Sister of Battle, thank you for the tier one sub for six months. Mighty Golem coming in with five more gifted subs. Thank you so much, Mighty Golem, for that. Really do appreciate that so much. Jonesy Man, thank you for the tier one sub. Venmana, thank you for the prime sub. WS Shade, thank you for subscribing with the tier three sub for 14 months. Crazy Craig 27, thank you for the tier one sub for five months. Uh, Moraz TB, thank you for the tier one sub for six months. Diabolic Dude, thank you for the tier one sub for 12 months. Uh, Base Deek, thank you for the tier two sub for 39 months. Uh, Tomato, once again, thank you for the raid and thank you so much for playing. You uh, have been phenomenal, thank you again. Uh, I am off. I might be streaming tomorrow. If I do, I will be doing a dev stream. If I don't, you will not be seeing me again until the 27th because I'm taking a break. Yeah, you know, I'm either I'm either working tomorrow on phase three development or I am taking uh, an extended break. Either way, 24th to the 26th, I'm out. I'm off. I'm taking a break. We'll do a stream next uh, month, 27th, 28th. Um, and then 29th through the 31st, I'm out again. I'm taking, I'm taking some big breaks. I'm taking big stop breaks right now so I can just rest and relax after accomplishing this amazing project. So uh, don't worry. I'll be taking those breaks, but you will not see me gone for long. Um, I will still be working hard, getting you guys hyped up because it's going to be, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. All right, let's see here. Is there, hmm, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to, what, what do I want to do? You know, I think I'm going to take you over to Mr. Lawman himself. Head on over to Lawman. Drop your bread to love over there. Wish him a buy the light. Give him a buy the light. Loom Tunes, thank you for the prime sub as we are getting sent off. And I will see you guys either tomorrow or next Monday. Thank you again for making IO the best that it can possibly be. For allowing me to achieve my dream. And uh, I'm looking forward to the future with you guys with Phase 3. Thanks again, everyone. And have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Farewell. <laughs>